The following is a presentation of Radio Plus Sports. Radio Plus Sports. Eigenbrot to the right-hand side of Schreider. Low snap, regathers, hands off. Eigenbrot tiptoeing its way through the defense to the end zone. Touchdown, Von de Lack. And here's Schreider going to take a shot downfield. He's got it. Receiver hauled in by Tyler Brandner to the end zone. Touchdown, Von de Lack. 40, he's gone. 30, 20, touchdown. Break. Radio Plus Sports. Recognized by the Wisconsin Broadcasters Association in their awards for excellence as the best in high school sports play-by-play in the state. And the Fond du Lac Cardinals have snapped Kimberly's 70-game winning streak. High school games video streaming live at RadioPlusInfo.com. That's right. Watch the biggest games live, too. Hold it in for a touchdown. There is your state championship. Broadcast is sponsored by the following local partners. Capelli Brothers and Dietrich. Edward Jones. Integrity Saw and Tool. Bauer Chiropractic. Bondi Family Dental. Baker Cheese. Right Way Home Improvement. Quest Interiors. Addison Jones Real Estate. Holiday Automotive. Taco Bell. Bristol Morgan Bank. Coal Oil and Propane. Pioneer Pit Stop. The Spectrum Call Center. Pizza Ranch. Everson and Gibbs, Attorneys at Law. National Exchange Bank and Trust. LK Interior Systems. Silica for your home. Rademan Stone and Landscape. Bob's Pizza. AirTech. Winnebago Lutheran Academy. Musa Sheet Metal. Scotty's Auto Works. St. Mary Springs Academy. Canberra Casino. Fond du Lac Credit Union. Marchant Schmidt. New Medical Center. Condex Corporation. Fox Valley Savings Bank. BCI Burke. Marion University, Muthig Industries, Dufresne Moving and Storage, Winfield Custom Homes. The complete broadcast schedule can be found at RadioPlusInfo.com. Let's go live to the Radio Plus Sports Broadcast Booth. Good Friday evening to you from Ruth Field, home of the Fond du Lac Cardinals, and this is Fond du Lac Cardinal Football, and you're watching on RP Video Sports. Glad to have you along here with you, Jordan King, uh, up here in the Fond du Lac, uh, the Fruth Field Press Box. Today's game brought to you by Fond du Lac Edward Jones Financial Advisors in the Fondy area, Robert Bruce, Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, Patrick Ellisted, Edward Jones making sense of investing. And this is the Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show, and the Fondy Cardinals, well, it's the Kimberly Papermakers here, and uh, on paper, this is a little bit of a mismatch, but Fondy, you know, have have played well against Kimberly uh, over the years, especially a couple of recent times for the Cardinals. Head coach uh, formerly involved with the Kimberly program, you know that with, with Coach Pluker. You'll hear him talk to to uh, Nick about that a little bit later on in the, the coach's interview, but Fondy's going to have to play well. They know that in this game in, in order to knock off the undefeated Kimberly Papermakers. Kimberly comes in 6-0 and and ranked number two in the in the state. And, you know, it could be number one depending on which poll you look at, but uh, as low as number two, that's a pretty good uh, ranking for the Papermakers, I would say. Uh, they have wins at Stevens Point, at Appleton North, and at Appleton East. Home wins over DeForest, Oshkosh North, and Oshkosh West. A couple of those are common opponents with the Cardinals in FVA play. Uh, they handled Oshkosh North easily. Fonny needed a last-second field goal to win it. So Fonny knows they're going to have to play uh, just about a perfect game here tonight to uh, get the W against a very good papermaker team led in part by Ethan Kreider. He's kind of the, the headliner for them. Now they run the football extremely well uh, as well, but Kreider this season, 426 yards receiving. That's uh, quite the mark for him. He's the leading target for Seth Myron the quarterback for Kimberly. We'll talk a little bit more about the papermakers as we uh, make our way through the integrity saw and tool pregame show. For Fondy, they're going to lead lean on uh, senior running back, 175-pound Braden Eigenbrot. By this point in the season, you know that Eigenbrot's going to be the, the first option for the Cardinals who come into this one 3-3. Three three. Wins over Kettle Moraine, Appleton East, and Oshkosh North. Their losses at Kakana. Tough place to play at Nina, one of the best teams in the state, ranked in the top six as well. And then that Franklin game. Franklin's still clinging on to a top ten ranking in Division One, but they've fallen a little bit over the last couple of, uh, of weeks as well. They're just number nine in the state. So, Fondy, back, you know, you think back to that Franklin matchup when both teams were in the top six in Division One. Both teams kind of slipped since then, but that was the first stumbling block for, uh, for Coach Pluker and these Fondy Cardinals 
to Franklin when they lost that one, 42 to 20. Uh, since then, two and two in the Flyway Conference. This is, or in the FVA, pardon me. This is a big, big game here tonight. Big opportunity with huge postseason implications for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. We'll take a three-minute timeout. When we come back, we will continue with the Integrity Saw into a pregame show. Coming up, the Fondy Family Dental Coach's Smile interview. Nick caught up with Coach Pluker earlier this week. So you'll hear that coming up next. Jordan King with you from Fruith Field. This is the Integrity Saw into a pregame show, and this is Fondy Football on rpvideosports.com. Today's game is brought to you by Edward Jones and these area Edward Jones financial advisors. Robert Bruce, located at 976 East Johnson Street. Patrick Ellistad, located at 560 Fond du Lac Avenue. Matt Moses, located at 68 North Main Street. And Jeff Wills, located at 649 Fond du Lac Avenue. Good luck to all athletes in today's game. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Winfield Homes is a locally owned custom home building company of over 25 years that prides itself on great service, high quality, and providing the best building experience possible. Owners Jim Boudry and Jason Zellner are there for you every step of the way to ensure that your new home is built just the way you've dreamed it to be. With the same passion that they have for their clients' homes, Jim and Jason are proud supporters of and are personally involved in youth sports programs and are truly committed to their success. Winfield Homes wishes you all the best of luck this season. Integrity Saw and Tool is a proud sponsor of Fond du Lac Area Sports. They wish the best of luck to all local teams this fall and winter. Integrity prides itself on being the fastest producer of high-quality cutting tools and providing the most reliable sharpening service in the industry. If you're looking for a challenging career with excellent benefits and a family atmosphere, contact the team at IntegritySaw.com. That's IntegritySaw.com. Hi, everyone. I'm Josh Schneider with Silica for Your Home. We get innovative products in every day at Silica. I think one of the coolest things we have right now is something we don't even sell, our new digital price tags. We know you're busy, so these tags do the shopping for you. They search the internet twice a day, and if they find a product at a lower price, it automatically changes the Silica price. Shop Silica for the best sales, service, and pricing every day. So come on in and check them out. We hope to see you soon. Apply now to qualify for the Sabre Award, a $500 per year scholarship at Marion University. Be admitted by January 1st and receive a $2,000 scholarship towards your degree. The Sabre Award is granted in addition to other scholarships, awards, and discounts. 100% of Marion University students receive financial assistance. College is affordable. Apply now at marionuniversity.edu forward slash apply. What can I get for $5? You can become a member of Fond du Lac Credit Union and get some pretty amazing benefits. Really? Like what? As a member of Fond du Lac Credit Union, you can take advantage of all that they have to offer, including fewer fees, the best loan rates, in-house lending, and access to all the amazing programs and services. Wow. The cherry on top, when you become a member, you become part owner. That sounds like a great deal for only $5. Sure is. It's super simple to sign up. I'd like to order that. Oh, I'm sorry. We only sell coffee here. Back here at Fruith Field, glad to have you along. Jordan King with you here in the broadcast booth. The Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show rolls on here on Radio Plus Info. About uh, 12 minutes till they get the pregame festivities going, and both teams well into their warm-ups, had the coin toss already. Braden Eigenbrot, as I mentioned earlier, 148 attempts on the season, 518 yards. That's not a, a super popping uh, yards per carry number it's just three and a half yards per carry you also got to worry about tanner dalski number zero you, you use him in in a lot of those uh perimeter type of run situations he's averaging eight yards per carry um but eigenbrot is going to be leaned on to tote the rock for the cardinals who overall you look at 151 attempts for schreider uh, the quarterback and then 148 rushes for eigenbrot their two top options their quarterback and their running back very very balanced at least play wise for the Cardinals. Uh, earlier this week, uh, Nick caught up with Coach Pluker from the Cardinals and uh, had the family, Fondy Family Dental Coaches Smile interview. There you see all patients in a happy and honest setting. Schedule an appointment today, Fondy Family Dental, proud to sponsor all Fond du Lac area sports. So here's Coach Pluker. He caught up with Nick a little bit earlier this week. The Fondy Family Dental Coaches Smile interview. Thank you. 
Welcome back to your Integrity Selling Tool pregame show. Fondy Family Dental has our Coach's Smile segment. Again, presented by Fondy Family Dental. Seeing all ages of patients in a happy and honest setting. Schedule your appointment today with Fondy Family Dental. Sam Pluker, the head coach of the Fond du Lac Cardinals with us here. Sam, always appreciate the time. Week in and week out, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So as, as we go back, Sam, to the Kakana game, um, we talked briefly after the game, but what you see that you need to clean up going into the Kimberly matchup coming up on Friday night? You know, I think that we have to start out a lot faster. Um, and we're going to do a few things to change that up. I think the second half, we play with a lot of energy and fire. and We won the second half, but when we come out against a good team and play like we did the first half, we're not going to win a lot of ball games in this conference. Um, so it's just making sure that we have the best guys on the field and that our guys are ready to go right away from the first snap. You have the Kimberly Papermakers on Friday night, and a, a team that you know really does it all, Sam, it, it starts with um, a very good quarterback uh, for them in, in, in Seth Myron with 57 out of 84, uh, just under 1,000 yards, but they can do it on the ground as well. So what's the main concern on the ground rushing defense that's been a, kind of a, a trouble spot for the Cardinals? Yeah, so I just think that our focus this week is, is just making sure that we have our best players, best 11 on the field, um, and that they're in the right spot. So I think that if you, you kind of look throughout the season, we've struggled with the run game before, so we've made some pretty significant adjustments this week in preparation for probably the best running team or second best after Nina running team that we face. Um, so we just got to make sure we have got the right guys in the right spots and we get back to the basics. What else concerns you about Kimberly coming into the matchup on Friday night? Well, I think Kimberly, uh, you know, me playing for Kimberly and, and kind of seeing the program develop, it's, it's a program that's never going to shoot themselves in the foot. They're going to be technique uh, and schematically sound, and they're always going to do the right thing. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think as, as a team, it's a really important this week that we focus on discipline. We focus on doing our assignments every play, and we always understand that the team across from us is not going to make mistakes. So we got to make sure that, that we're not making any dumb mistakes. We're not having bad penalties. We're not fumbling the ball. We're doing the little things because we know that they're going to be very good at that. And, and those type of things have won them a lot of games throughout the years. So we just got to make sure that, that we play f- physical football like we always do, but that we take a, you know an increased awareness into uh, the details and penalties of the game and things of that nature. Final like Cardinals are 3-3 three and three, uh, on the season, Sam. And as you take a look at your, your schedule, you have Kimberly, of course. You don't want to look past Kimberly, obviously. But then you have Appleton North coming up uh, next Friday night, then end the season against Oshkosh West. Are, are, are you figuring that... To get into the dance, you'd have to win two out of the next three, or what's the mindset there? You know, right now our mindset is, is 100% on Kimberly. Uh, Kimberly is either, depending on what poll you look at, the number one or number two team in the state. Um, so we really, to be fully honest with you, haven't talked about anything except Kimberly. Um, this is a great opponent in front of us, and, and our goal every week is to play the best we can and try to win every single game. So right now we're just focusing on uh, trying to find ways to beat Kimberly. Any injuries for the Cardinals, Sam, coming into the Kimberly game? Uh, nope. None, as I know of, as of right now. Yeah, all right. Well, Sam, thanks for the time. As always, we appreciate it, and we'll chat again next week, okay? Thank you. Yep, okay. That's Sam Pluker, head coach of the Fond du Lac Cardinals, back with more of your Integrity Song Tool pregame show as it uh, continues. Bondi Family Dental Coaches Smile segment. Hang on. Bake. Back here at Fruit, that's the family Fondy Family Dental Coaches Smile interview. And I'm I'm glad Nick asked that because that's an interesting question to Coach Bluker. It you know you know and, and that's the right answer. Uh, we're not looking ahead. You have to focus on Kimberly, and the Kimberly is is worth all of your attention and, and then some. Uh, are the papermakers? They're undefeated for a reason. They're one of the top two teams, and they may not be number two, uh, is ter- in terms of top two teams in the state, uh, for a reason. You have to take them seriously and. Um, certainly the Cardinals going to have to do that here tonight. But you do, as you look at this schedule, you have to figure they got to probably win two out of the next three, and that starts tonight. Kimberly at, at Appleton North and then Oshkosh West at home to, to finish out the season. On the flip side, though, Kimberly could be tempted to look ahead a little bit as well. Nina coming up next week, and that'll be probably a top five matchup in Division One. Uh, Nina and, and Kimberly, and that'll be played at Kimberly's home field, Papermaker's have an opportunity to really, really, really take a grip of the uh, the FVA uh, conference crown uh, next week if they're able to get that done and then close out their their season against another really tough team, Kakana. So, Kimberly could you know you gotta if if you're the Kimberly papermakers, you also have to respect Fondy here tonight because it would be very very easy for them to look at Kakana in in, in the final week 
and then Nina next week and, and look ahead a little bit as well. The Bauer Chiropractic Injury Report, Bauer, Chiropra uh, Bauer Chiropractic, Got pain? See Shane. Dr. Shane Bauer and Bauer Chiropractic voted Fond du Lac's favorite chiropractor in a recent Reader's Choice poll. You heard Coach Pluker right there, and uh, nothing doing for the Cardinals in terms of uh, significant injuries for them this season. We're going to take a minute timeout. When we come back, we will give you the Baker Cheese starting lineups. That's up next. This is the Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show. Stay with us on RadioPlusInfo.com. Baker Cheese, producing award-winning cheese since 1916. Not only can you find fresh Baker Cheese at your local grocer, make the short drive to their in-house country cheese store. Over 100 varieties of other cheeses from the best cheesemakers in Wisconsin. Take Highway 23, go south on G3 miles, and follow the freshness. Visit BakerCheese.com. Baker Cheese, a Wisconsin cheese heritage since 1916 mishaps like accidents, auto glass chips, and breakage happen. So it's good to know that the new state-of-the-art Holiday Collision and Glass Center is here for you. Count on Team Holiday for expert collision and paintwork, mobile auto glass fixes and replacement, paintless dent repair, and much more. This is 2022 Heisman candidate Braylon Allen. As a running back, I know how it feels to be in a collision. When your vehicle needs rehab, trust the Holiday Collision Center to get it done right. Drive Holiday and discover the difference. Back here at Fruth Field, the Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show rolls on here on RadioPlusInfo.com. Glad to have you along. It is a gorgeous Friday night, mid-60s when uh, when the kickoff will take place in a few minutes here, and uh, it's perfect football weather right now. Uh, this is, if you don't love this weather, I, I don't know. You ain't a football fan, I don't think. So Baker Cheese starting lineup. Start your new career at Baker Cheese today. Visit BakerCheese.com to find out how you can apply today. Now, both these teams want to be announced as teams, uh, so struggling to, to get starting lineups, but we can tell you the impact players for both of these teams. Uh, I kind of buried the lead with Kimberly. Look, when, they, when Kimberly is rolling, they want to run the football, just like a lot of very good teams, and they have a two-headed monster in the backfield. Number six, Blake Berry, is uh, the guy who totes the mail the most for them. 83 carries for 585 yards, 10 touchdowns this season, and no fumbles. Has not put the ball on the on the floor at all. 585 yards, 7 yards per carry for Blake Berry. Gavin Tyson is the second of the two. 67 for 394. That's 6 yards a carry and 6 touchdowns. So 16 total touchdowns between those two. When they throw it, it'll be Seth Myron. 57 of 80 attempts. That's over 70% completion percentage. 900 yards, 13 touchdowns. He does have 4 picks on the season uh, for the papermakers. When he throws it, He's usually looking to Ethan Kreider for big plays, 22.4 yards per catch for Kreider, 426 yards on the year. And then their other big play receiver is Jackson Garbish, 296 yards on the season for Garbish. They have 10 of the 13 touchdowns between those two. For Fondy, you, uh, you know the names, Braden Eigenbrot, Tanner Dalski. Those are the top two rushers when they throw it. Schreider is looking for Ethan Wagner Lang most of the time. Otherwise... He's got a lot of options here now. Tyler Brandner has 361 yards uh, so far this season. Calvin Mullins, 338 yards. And he's a lot of big plays, only 12 catches. So that's a 28.2 yards per catch clip for Calvin Mullins. Tanner Dalski does a nice job, as does Eigenbrot out of the backfield. So, you know, it's not a lack of weapons for Fondy. Can they keep pace with the papermakers today, take care of the football? Schreider's got six picks on the year. Eigenbrot's got a couple of fumbles. I'm gonna. I'm thinking valuing the football is going to be an important thing for the Cardinals here this evening. We're going to take a timeout. They're ready with all their pregame festivities here at Fondy and just about ready. When we come back, we'll have the right way home, improve, home improvement opening kickoff. That's on the way. The Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show just about wrapped up. We got football at Fruth coming up next. Stay with us. Are you unsure of what career path you want to take? Musa Sheet Metal is looking for motivated individuals to join their highly regarded apprenticeship program. Throughout the program, you'll learn the skills to be able to run your own job site. A career at Musa Sheet Metal is a chance to join a driven team working together to design and build products to help build communities. Learn more at musasheetmetal.com. That's musasheetmetal.com. 
Build products that build communities. Apply at musashootmetal.com. The Raidman family has been coring and producing natural stone products for over 50 years. Hi, I'm Brock Raidman with the Raidman Stone and Landscape Company. As the first member of our fourth generation family owned business, I'm proud to carry on the tradition of providing quality stone products to Fond du Lac and the surrounding areas. Is your driveway in need of repair? Here at Raidman's, our crust stone division provides our customer with stone needed for maintaining your gravel driveway. Our quarry stone division provides landscape stones such as stepping stones and retaining wall stone for your outdoor living area. Areas. We also offer natural thin and full veneer stone for interior applications such as fireplaces or outdoor applications to combine with or replace your siding or brick. Whether building or remodeling, veneer stone can add a natural look and feel to your home. Our natural stone is available in many different textures, sizes, colors, and cuts. Stop out at Raidemans and see our indoor-outdoor stone displays or like us on Facebook to see some finished projects. Raidemans Stone and Landscape Company, where we have the materials to do the best work on earth. I think financial education from an early age is a very important component of long-term success, both for the bank, the community, and the economy as a whole. Uh, I think a lot of times kids um, learn either what they see in their homes or what they potentially learn in school, and sometimes there's a disconnect about how things actually work. And I think the bank's job is to bridge that gap of what's being taught in the schools and the homes and couple it with some real world experience. So at an early age, helping to educate and understand, you know, what can you do with your money? What does it mean to put it in a savings account? You know, if you put it in a savings account, where is it? How do I get it? You know, some of the things that adults take for granted, I think if we teach our kids at a young age, how the banking system as a whole works and what the benefits are to the communities and to themselves as they grow up, I think that becomes a differentiation point for a lot of places. Real estate is something that we are doing together. We're in it together till the end. Uh, the best achievement that I can have is when the property successfully closes. Probably the most rewarding part of my, my role with Addison Jones and Signature Homes is the ability to take a client from the very beginning stages of building a new home all the way down to the point where we turn the key and move them in and watch their eyes light up as they see the finished product. Buy it, sell it, build it. That's Addison Jones. People have a reluctance to go see the dentist. It's an easy thing to put off or avoid altogether. But one visit to the caring professionals at Fondi Family Dental will change the way you think about the dentist. They provide quality family dental services to all ages in a happy, honest, and efficient manner that teaches and involves you on your custom plan. If you don't have insurance, ask about their new membership plan that can save you money. Call or schedule online today at FondiFamilyDental.com. Real memories deserve real cameras. Back here at Fruth, glad to have you along with us, Jordan King. Today's broadcast is built by Capelli Brothers and Diedrich of Fond du Lac, building for the future since 1948, commercial and office, industrial and manufacturing, warehouse, storage, and more. Trust the best, and trust Capelli Brothers and Diedrich. Plan for success today, carpentry, concrete, masonry, and more. Log on to CapelliDiedrich.com. That's CapelliDiedrich.com. Com. Paper makers coached by uh, Chad Michaelwitz and the Cardinals coached by Coach Sam Pluker. So we're just about ready to get going. We'll close out the Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show with the Right Way Home Improvement opening kickoff. From doors and gutters to roofs and sidings, Right Way Home Improvement has you covered. Kick off your home project today. Contact Right Way Home Improvement for your free estimate. Call 920-929-8999 or visit rightwaybuilt.com. That's 920-929-8999 or rightwaybuilt.com. Kimberly going to send the ball deep to the Cardinals. And Fondy going to have the first shot to put some points on the board. 
Now, uh, Kimberly averages 40 points per game. I think it's like 39.8, so <laughs> I think that's close enough. We can round that up to, to 40 points, and we're just about ready to get going. Deep will be uh, for the Cardinals' Tanner Dalski, who uh, the junior was the first one out onto that fo big Fondy logo at, at midfield here at Fruth. We're just about ready to get things going here with the number two team in the state in Division One. A lot of good games going on across the state. I know if you're a Radio Plus Info subscriber, you probably got the notification. Springs and Campbell Sport going on here, going on tonight as well. But all eyes here on Fondy. Can they pull off an upset and uh, stunt the season that so far has had very, very few uh, bricks in the road for Kimberly? Dalski's going to get an opportunity, catches at the 10. Angles across towards the left sideline, trying to get to the left sideline. He's able to do so. Can he break a tackle? He's able to do that across the 35 and looked about to be about to the 37. They're going to say he stepped out at the 35. So Fondi's first possession, decent starting field position after Dalski takes it for 25 yards on the return. So that's where Fondi will get things going with this Steven Schreider-led offense along with Braden Eigenbrot, Tanner Dalski, Tyler Brander. You know the names by now if you're a Fondy fan. The plenty of weapons here for Schreider to, to get things going. Hlavaka out there as well. Uh, Going to kind of in that tight end spot for the Cardinals. And Fondy. Runs up to the line. They're in the blackout uniforms. The crowd is blacked out, and there's some early movement. An early mistake from the Cardinals, and it'll be first and 15. Student section all blacked out. Got the, the black tops, the black bottoms for the football players. Dance team, the band, everything. Most of the, the parents as well wearing the, the black for Fondy. Plenty of plenty of hype for this game. And the Fondy looked like they moved again. Moving backwards again by the looks of it. Yeah, they are. And, well, this is not how you wanted to start against the number two team in the state. First and 20, Fondy, after a really, really nice return by Dalski, moving in the wrong direction. So that was Hanra. Uh, uh, Corbin Hanrahan, excuse me, who trotted over to get the new play call. First two didn't work. Fondy just hoping to get a snap off here. Here's the direct snap around the end and f got some blockers here for Dalski. That's a good first play as Dalski was there with the direct snap into the game. And now Schreider will tr trot back onto the field for his first opportunity. That was a pickup of a dozen for Dalski. Good first play for the Cardinals after giving away an early 10 yards, able to carve up a second and eight after Dalski. Gonna send a man in motion here, Schreider. The give to Eigenbrot. Picks his way on the near side, picked up and driven back. That was a nice tackle made by Jack Stats. Or pardon me, Stats, pardon me. Three pick up, three yard pickup for Eigenbrot and it's third and five. Looked like he got stuffed right away, but just tells you how powerful of a runner Eigenbrot is. He's still in the backfield here. Send Dalski in motion. Fake to Dalski and fake to Eigenbrot. Going here down the near side. This one's over the outstretched hand of Max Mengel out of the backfield as the tight end. And Trader just overthrew him by a couple of steps. Stotts, after making a nice play as a linebacker, then showed his versatility and coverage there. Blanket coverage over Mengel. And Mengel really with the half field read was the only option for Schreider down this right hand side. So with 10.40 to go in the first half, Fondi gonna have to punt it to the paper makers right away. Stotts is back there to return it. Not sure he's gonna get an opportunity. Ball hits at the 35, takes a Fondi bounce inside the 25. And that's where Kimberly will take over. So three and out is not a good start for Fondi. But hey, they're going to say 24 is where it was downed. So it's going to be a long field nonetheless for Kimberly. 
So if you take out that those two false start penalties, Fondy would have had a first down, but not to be. So the first opportunity for number 13, Seth Myron, and this Kimberly offense, he's going to get the ball to his favorite target. Here is Kreider on the near side and taken down. That's a good open field tackle by number 11, Jacob Haller. And that's an eight-yard pickup all said and done. Good start for the Papermakers offensively. They're going to say he actually leaned forward to a second and one, so nine-yard pickup for Kreider. Once again, Myron in the shotgun. The turn, the give here. This is what we're going to see all night. Barry. And looked like Fondy stacked him up on the far side. Should be third down. Maybe picked up half a yard. We're going to give him, we're going to say he got nothing up here. And should be third down. It is third and one. 9.43 to go. Fondy, that was a nice play by that defensive line over there on the left side as you look at it from the secondary. Cameron Schmidt is in there for Fondy. A couple of other players in there. Isaiah Jones was one of them in there for Fondy as well. Here comes Kreider in motion. The pitch forward from Myron. Kreider is off to the races on the far side. He's at the Fondy 40, cuts back, has a blocker, and he's dragged down inside the 30 at the 25-yard line. And there is a huge play from his own 33 into Fondy territory for Kreider. Ethan Kreider, who is dangerous enough as a receiver that time. Well, it was technically a pass as Myron flipped it forward. So I think, you know, that's that's a receiving play. But for all intents and purposes, a, a nice run there from Kreider. Picked up 44 on the play, brought down at the 23. Myron in the backfield, in the shotgun, takes the snap, looks to the near side. They run a little action there, and that's overthrown. Miscommunication with a couple of his receivers. They tried to run in, in action there with, with Kreider, as well as number 14, Lance Deering. And just misread there. They also had Jackson Garbish over there in the, in the area, did Kimberly. So second and 10. Tell you what, Kreider was open. Just looked like Myron was, was looking for the big play instead. Got Garvish on the near side here. Myron with the snap. Here's the give to Barry. Once again, Fond du Lac has it stacked up inside. Pickup of three down to the 20-yard line. It's a nice play by Fondy on the interior of that defensive front. Should be third and seven as Fondy sends a couple of subs in. Caleb Kotke out there, as well as Max Mengel back onto the field for the Cardinals for this third and seven play. Down at the near side is Jackson Garbage. In the slot is Kreider. Fondy looks like they got some shadow help over Kreider. The snap is to Myron. Kreider out into the flat. That's where he's looking. Oh, what a catch from Ethan Kreider. But he's going to be stacked up. That's a nice tackle out there. Once again, number 11, Jacob Haller makes the play for the Cardinals. And Kreider got it down to, let's say he picked up about five there. Maybe a fourth and two or a fourth and three. And we'll see what the papermakers decide to do here on their first drive. This will be the seventh play of the opening drive. Big play was the 44-yard catch and run for Kreider. Myron's in the backfield. They need a long two, maybe three. Two men in motion to the near side. Wonder where they're going to run this one. Here's Barry. He's actually going to run it the other way. Can he turn the legs? I don't think so. Fondy looks to have stopped Kimberly on the first possession. Barry tried to go straight up the middle. Think he picked up two, but I think he needed three. And there's confirmation of that. Fondy with a big stand in the red zone. And turns it over on down. So Fondy with an opportunity to still be the first team to score here tonight after the defense able to stand up. So Schreider will trot back out onto the field with Brandner and company and see if he can't get a couple of these outside weapons involved possibly. 
So it ends up being a seven-play drive, which covered most of the field for the Papermakers, but ends up in no points. Man in motion. Here's the give to Eigenbrod up the middle. And he picked up yard and a half. We'll give him a yard up here, second and nine. That first possession, Ethan, Cru or uh, pardon me, uh, Seth Myron was three for four for Kimberly. All of his completions went to uh, Ethan Kreider. And that last one, if it wasn't so high, you'd think Kreider might have been able to get the first down. It was a heck of a catch by Kreider on the, on the edge. Man in motion. The play fake. Deep shot. It's Dalski and just tipped away. Dalski would have still been running now, but it was tipped by Thomas Myers, the six-foot defensive back. And if that's two yards further down the field, Tanner Dalski is still running into that south end zone. I couldn't tell it, you know, if that wasn't tipped, that's a tough one for, for Dalski. He had to come back to the ball. Got up in the air, but not able to bring it down for the Cardinals. Ooh, that was a big opportunity. Receiver to either side. Eigenbrot in the backfield along with Schreider. Schreider claps, sends a man in motion. Here's the play fake. Looking down the middle of the field. Has a man. He's going to try his arm. Cuts back. Caught at the 40-yard line. It's Brandner winning a jump ball. And Fondi has itself some momentum. 44 yards for Fondy. That's their first first down of the night for Fondy. Another first down means moving the chains presented by Addison Jones Real Estate. Call them, then call the movers. Another one that was just a little bit underthrown, and Dulski came back, or pardon me, Brandner came back to it and out jumped every paper maker. Here is the run to the near side. And stacked up by the papermakers that time, but I think he picked up a yard. Did Dalski see the? Yeah, the spot there is is a pickup of one. Dalski is so tricky to get down when he gets to the. He runs it to the edge pretty much, primarily for the Cardinals, and he's very difficult to get to before he picks up any yards. He's so quick. Ethan Wagner Lang is the receiver up at the top of the screen. There he is. Nice pass from Schreider. A little bit high, but Wagner Lang goes up and gets it. A little bit easier when you're a 6'5, 185 pound receiver like Wagner Lang is. Pick up of five that time for the Cardinals. Make it six. And a third and three. Wagner Lang is the favorite target so far this season for Steven Schreider. Captain to captain hookup. A couple of senior playmakers for this Fondy Cardinal team. Kind of in no man's land here. I would expect this to be four down territory for the Cardinals as it was for the Papermakers. Now some movement, and for the third time here in this first quarter, it's a false start. And it'll be third and eight. 4.42 to go here in the first quarter. I have Fondy having run eight plays and three false starts in their first eight plays. Not counting the false starts, of course, as plays. So third and eight for the Cardinals. Wagner Lang is the receiver to the near side. Man in motion, that's Dalski. Wagner Lang is triple covered. Schreider trying to buy time. He's just going to launch it to Wagner Lang down at the goal line. Tipped up as it picked. It is not. Batted down by the paper makers there. Schreider threw up a jump ball, almost a, a Hail Mary type of pass to the goal line, and it was defended really well by three different paper makers. I think that was probably Stotts who got his hand on it. I couldn't see who that was on his back, if that was Ty Lawton or J Jack Stotts that... Uh, had an opportunity to pick that off and end the Fondy Cardinal possession with a turnover. But I believe Fondy will well, we'll see if they try to play the field position game. I think 
they haven't uh, haven't decided either. So they're going to take a timeout, talk it over. Do they want to uh, go for this or punt Kimberly deep? We're going to take a timeout with them, be back with more. Tied 0-0 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. More after this. Stay with us. Here at Pizza Ranch, we believe in happy accidents. Like in 1964, when a Buffalo, New York restaurant owner accidentally bought chicken wings instead of chicken necks. The 60s were a crazy time. Well, decades later, and the mistake turned masterpiece is now at Pizza Ranch. Introducing our new traditional and boneless chicken wings, tossed in our signature sauces. Two more ways to get the country's best chicken available for carryout and delivery. Maybe it wasn't an accident after all. Just delicious fate. Pizza Ranch. Mmm, mmm. Back here at Fruth, Fondy took a timeout. Schreider is still out on the field for the Cardinals with 4.18 to go here in the first quarter. Second Fondy possession, they went three and out, and then the defense able to hold the papermakers inside the red zone on a fourth and three. Turn the ball back over to the Cardinals, and then a 44-yard shot to Tyler Brandner is why we're here. Schreider stands tall in the pocket, has Ethan Wagner laying on a slant, and that's a first down for Fondy. Another first down brought to you out by Addison Jones. That was a dart from the 38 down to the 21. That's a pickup of 17 for the, uh, for the Fondy Cardinals. That was an impressive throw from Steven Schreider. Stood tall in the pocket, stepped into a throw, and Wagner laying met the ball on the slant. And Fondy might be in business here at the 21-yard line just outside the red zone. Dalski coming in motion. Pitch forward for Schreider. Dalski cuts forward down to the 10-yard line. That's another Fondy first down on back-to-back -back plays. Depending on the spot, looks like, well, we'll see. Maybe they're going to call it second down. That may not be the worst thing for Fondy if that is ruled a second down because yeah, second and inches. I I think if you're a Fondy fan, you're you're thinking that's a good deal. He picked up ten yards on the play. It's second and inches, and now you got a cup. You got a chance here to maybe take a shot to the end zone. If that's a first down, that is pretty much first and goal from ten and a half yards. Here's the give to Eigenbrot instead. He's going to pick up the first, and he's down inside the ten yard line, down to the nine. So a pickup of two for Braden Eigenbrot. Three straight first downs for Fondy. Three firsts in three plays, or four plays, check that. For Fond du Lac, three minutes. I guess two first downs on three plays. Three minutes to go here in the first. Dalski on the near side. We'll see if they send him in motion here. No, instead it's Eigenbrot out of the backfield. Inside the five, driving towards the goal line. He's going to be brought down just short at the two-yard line. So it looked like he picked up about eight there. And I would say about six of them came after contact, maybe seven. It's at the two-yard line. In comes Tyler Brandner. And Fondy looking to strike first here with two minutes and 20 seconds or so on the first half clock. Brandner is the receiver on the far side, Eigenbroke up the middle. Schreider puts his hands in the air, a big fist pump as Eigenbroke dives into the end zone and Fondy takes an early lead. Six nothing on the Quest Interior scoreboard as Blake Eigenbroke caps off an 11 play scoring drive for the Cardinals. That covered much of this field. Eigenbrot will collect himself and attempt this extra point. Up, looks good. It is good for Blake Eigenbrot. And the Fondy Cardinals take an early lead with 2.12 to go here in the first. They lead at 7-0. We'll take a timeout, come back with more. You're watching Fondy Football on RadioPlusInfo.com. 
This is Wisconsin running back Braylon Allen. I know a great team when I experience it, and Team Holiday is one of the best. I think what keeps people coming back to Holiday is our people. Taking care of the customer is everybody's focus. Delivering exceptional customer care. It's what we do. Get more truck or SUV for your buck, enticing offers, and more for your trade on a new or GM-certified pre-owned Chevrolet, Buick, or GMC. Find yours and discover the difference at Holiday Automotive Fond du Lac. It's worth the trip. It was a, started at the 16-yard line, did that drive. So 84 yards in 11 plays for the Cardinals. Capped off by a Braden Eigenbro, two-yard touchdown plunge. 7-0 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. Eigenbro will be the one to send it back to the papermakers. And that is Stotts, Jack Stotts back there deep. For Kimberly. Here's a little pooch kick and caught by Fondy. Fondy out jumped Kimberly and Tyler Dalski just, or Tanner Dalski, pardon me, just stole a possession for the Cardinals. There's a flag on the field, two flags on the field. So hold the celebrations for now. But Dalski is not letting go of the football. I don't think you're going to pry that out of his hands. This is a big call. There was a fair catch call. And they're going to say Fondy interfered with the, f with the catch. And so you call the fair catch, and that's why you do it. And the Boo Birds come out on the Fondy side, but uh, that is the correct call. That's why you call the fair catch. That's why you that's – well, that's a really nice coaching job there from Kimberly. They're going to have the ball at the plus 40-yard line. If, if the Kimberly returner does not call fair catch, that's a fair fair ball, fair ball game, and, and Dalski has himself a huge play. But he did get that hand in the air. It was late, but he got it up. Myron in the backfield. The turn, the give, and Barry belts forward for a yard, but that's it. Fondy's run defense has been exceptional so far. Barry has carries of 2, 3, 1, and now 0. Uh, they're going to give him one here as well. So six or seven yards so far on four carries for Blake Berry, who's averaging seven yards a carry and some so far this season. Seth Myron in the shotgun. Sends a man in motion. Going to jet out to the right. Go deep. He's got his man Kreider overthrew him. Kreider ran a great route there, and Myron couldn't find him. So far, there has been one pass, five passes so far tonight. Four of them have targeted Ethan Kreider, and why not? Big target, 6'2", 171. You saw his leaping ability on the first possession for Kimberly. But this is where Fondy wants Kimberly to be. Third and nine, third and long opportunities for Fondy's defense to maybe get after Myron a little bit. In the backfield, Myron in the shotgun formation. Two receivers to the top. One of them's Kreider. He's in the slot. One receiver to the bottom. Barry's going to stay in to protect. Myron brought his eyes downfield because of the Fondy pass rush. Now he's going to run. And that's a nice open field tackle. And I think that's Eigenbrot. It is. Doing it on both sides for the Cardinals. Eigenbrot fired up after he drags down Myron. It was a pickup of five for the Kimberly quarterback. And it's fourth and four. Fondy fans getting raucous here, trying to force a mistake, perhaps. Maybe force the second turnover on downs in the first quarter. 45 seconds left in this first quarter. Press box is shaking underneath us. Myron in the shotgun has Barry alongside of him. Two receivers to the top. One is Kreider. He looks to set up a little screen. That's a nice play call. Was he stopped? I think he was. That was a great open field tackle by the Cardinals, and I think they cut down there's number 45, Isaac DeCant, and it's Fondy football. They needed four. They picked up three and a half, I'll say. It was a great play call. 
but it didn't pick up enough yardage, and Fondy has all the momentum, and they have the football back. I couldn't see the Fondy Cardinal that cut down De DeCant there, but it was a huge play in the open field. So another opportunity here to get a little bit of momentum for Fondy. It's been a great first quarter. You know, in terms of as good as it could be for a game that started with a three and out here for the Fondy Cardinals, and I don't know if it, you know, it would certainly would not have started as a three and out if they didn't take back-to-back -back false start penalties on that first drive. They had first and 20 before they even snapped the football. Here's Wagner laying in motion. Man straight down the middle of the field. He's got him. Deep ball. Schreider hits his man in stride. It's Kelvin Mullins down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line is where it'll be spotted from the 31. 51 yards. Trying to do some quick math there. And Mullins got behind his man. 51 yards, it's a first down well into Kimberly territory, and that'll probably, we'll see if that closes out the first half for Fond here, if they want to try to push it while they got the momentum here before the stoppage between the quarter. And the referee is having a conversation with Fondy. I don't, not positive what that was about. Fondy moving the ball here early against the papermakers. Another first down means moving the chains presented by Addison Jones Real Estate. Call them, then call the movers. And with 13 seconds left, doesn't look like Fondy's going to snap the football. They'll take it back down to the other end, and Fondy will start the second quarter with the ball at the papermaker 18-yard line after a 51-yard completion to Calvin Mullins from Steven Schreider. It was a great first quarter for the Cards. Can they continue it? Moving into the second quarter. We'll find out when we come back. This is Fondy Football. Quarter break. We'll come back with more. You're watching on RadioPlusInfo.com. Stay with us. Dr. Shane Bauer of Bauer Chiropractic for progressive and traditional chiropractic care. If you're in pain, Bauer Chiropractic offers unique ways to provide relief for many types of pain and conditions. New to this area is MLS Class 4 Cold Laser Therapy, which can be very effective with treating many nagging injuries such as plantar fasciitis, tennis elbow, shoulder pain, knee pain, and many others. Pain relief and prevention are two reasons to see Dr. Shane Bauer at 355 North Peters Avenue, Fond du Lac, or log on BauerChiroFDL.com. Bob Hyland, legendary. The community of St. Mary Springs is counting down to Coach Hyland's 500th career win. Hyland is the second most winning active high school football coach in the nation and first in Wisconsin. Congratulations, Coach Hyland. Ledger Nation is cheering for you. Gonna win? Gotta win? Go Ledger. Please join St. Mary Springs Academy, students, staff, alumni, family, and friends as we all wish Bob Hyland the best for being the best. The second quarter starts with a Steven Schreider give straight up the middle to Eigenbrot. And Eigenbrot's down to the 15-yard line, pickup of three for the Cardinals. Steven Schreider has hit four different receivers to this point in the contest. He's found Tanner Dalski, Tyler Brandner, of course, Ethan Wagner Lane, and then that long deep ball to Calvin Mullins. And Fondy... With a 7-0 lead, looking for more here early. Dulski on a corner post. Touchdown, Cardinals. Will it stand? There was a flag thrown. I think Dulski got pulled. I don't think it's offensive pass interference. It looked like Dulski maybe got pulled. We'll see what the call is. But looks like they're setting it up to be a PAT try. So I would assume this is probably on the paper makers. We'll see. Pass interference on the paper makers. This one's going to stand. Another great toss for 15 yards from Schreider down to Tanner Dulski. That was an unbelievable route from Tanner Dulski. Got up to about the five yard line and just left his man. That, the cornerback couldn't see who that was, the cornerback. Just grasping at straws at the end there. 
three-play scoring drive for Fond du Lac. And Eigenbrot's field goal or PAT is good. It's 14-0 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. How about that for a start, Fondy Cardinal fans? We're back with more after this timeout. Fondy leads it 14-0. You're watching on Radio Plus Info. A new career path awaits you. Spectrum is hiring in your area and offering a starting wage of $20 an hour. Whether you're looking to help customers, share knowledge, make connections, or enjoy uncapped earning potential, there's a spot for you at Spectrum, the nation's fastest growing internet, TV, and mobile provider. Plus get paid on the job training, affordable health care coverage, market leading savings plan, and complimentary Spectrum services. Visit jobs.spectrum.com today. Back here at Fruth, Fond du Lac leads it 14-0 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. They'll march off the pass interference penalty yardage in Fondy is going to get to kick it off from the plus 45. You know, there's two schools of thought here. Do you pooch it? Because even if you don't get the the field or you don't get the uh, recovery, you're not giving up a ton of field position. Or, or do you just boot it deep, not worry about a return and, and just kind of the stress-free play? Looks like Fondy's coaches are yelling for Eigenbro to just kick it deep. Man, I just keep going back to that Dolsky route. It was so good, Kimberly, it was a pass interference, and he ran through it, caught the football anyway. Eigenbrot does his job, sends it through the back of the end zone. Kimberly will start at their own 20-yard line here and get things going. A down 14, a situation that I don't think the papermakers have found themselves in a whole lot of times this season. They've given up more than 14, more than 13 points just once. That was last week. They gave up 21 to Oshkosh West. Before that, Stevens Point and Appleton East had scored 13, and now Oshkosh North scored seven. Those are the only points given up by the papermakers. Here on the near side, this is the first action of the night for Garbish. Jackson Garbish. Makes the catch and see if he got a first down. Looks like he picked up 11. And a first down as Myron was on target there to Garv Garbish. Excuse me. So first and 10 for the papermakers. Steven Schreider is 6 of 9. Missed his first two throws. So since then, he is 6 of 7. For his last, yeah, six of his last seven throws. Man in motion. Here's Barry straight up the middle, trying to run through Eigenbrot. Eigenbrot able to swing him down, but Barry picked up five. Nice tough run that time from uh, one of the better running backs you'll see, Blake Barry, six foot, two hundred ten pound running back. Good luck bringing him down. Braden Eigenbrot did it there solo tackle, and that was really the first time he got loose. Five yard pickup. Second and five for the papermakers. Myron in the shotgun. Has his favorite target, Kreider, up at the top. And it's Garbish down here at the bottom. Play action, Garbish. Oh, he's hitting the backfield. Can he get rid of it? He does, wobbling as a couple of Fondy Cardinals back there. And the one who ended up forcing it was number 78, I do believe. Yeah, Cameron Schmidt. Well, it looked like it was 79. I don't see a 79 on the Cardinal roster. But if it was Cameron Schmidt, 6'3", 300-pound lineman. 10 minutes and 30 seconds left in the first half. Kreider to the top, Garbish to the bottom with Myron in the backfield along with Barry. Here is Garbish. And very loose coverage that time from Caleb Nails. Nails made a good open field tackle on Garbish. And Garbish a little bit slow to get up, but he picks up the first down. After a pickup of looked about seven. Yeah, that's what PA agrees with that. 42-yard line of Kimberly is where the ball sits. Garbish is going to trot over to the sideline, so... The second leading receiver for the papermakers. He's going to miss at least one play here. Myron with Kreider down to the near side now. Going to send him in motion. The pitch forward to Kreider. Kreider 
Yeah, that's much better from Fondy to string that play out and just a pickup of two. You know, it's that that is a reception. It's that touch pass that you know Patrick Mahomes and those new air raid offenses are are making so popular nowadays, but just essentially a running play. And who can argue with trying to get Kreider out into open space with what we've seen here so far tonight for Kimberly and what Kimberly fans have seen all season, which is a very dynamic playmaker in number 10. He's to the far side this time, and this is a little bit more normal for Kimberly. Three receivers set with Decant. DeCant, pardon me, in the backfield. And here's a pass back out to Kreider. They're giving Kreider a lot of respect, as you should. And it's stacked up. Big hit on the far side. Safety came crashing down. And it looked like Kreider picked up about 15. And another first down. That was nice drive brewing here for the papermakers. Really the kind of response you would want if you're Coach Michael Witz. And one that he probably was not too concerned about seeing. A lot of experience on this this team, as there are with, with many good teams. And the number two team in the state, depending on which poll you look at, they could be number one as well. Man in motion, the turn, the give, no. Play fake. Over the middle of the field, this is an opportunity for Fondy. It was so far wide that not even Jacob Haller could catch up to it. And Haller has... Pretty much as far as I've seen, every time you look at Kreider, it looks like it's Haller across from him. So I think that's the matchup that Fondy's going to go with here tonight. Haller's made a couple of big tackles in the open field against Kreider, and he's done a, a really nice job so far. Nothing big over his head as of yet. Eight minutes and 33 seconds left in the half. Kreider to the far side. Now they're going to send both the receivers both uh, Carter and Garbish to the near side. Barry's still in the backfield to turn the give this time to Barry, and Barry is going to plow his way forward. Gain about four, maybe five. I guess we'll give him five. It's going to be a long five yards for the papermakers to try to pick this up. Third and five for Kimberly. And now where the Cardinals are just about break even in terms of balance. They have about half the amount of passing plays does Kimberly than the Cardinals do. Myron in the backfield. They've passed it quite a bit here tonight. Here's Kreider almost lost control of it. And he's going to have a first down nonetheless. It's a pickup of eight it looks like. Maybe seven. And it's a first and ten for Kimberly. That's the what you have to do, unfortunately. It's it's kind of frustrating. But with a guy like Kreider, you you gotta give him the space with the talented receiver that he is, and you know Myron's gonna be looking his way. Receiver to either side, fullback ahead of both Myron, and here is Barry. Barry around the left side breaks a Fondi Cardinal tackle. It's a race to the pylon. Check that to the goal line and they're going to say he was down at the one yard line that was a nice tackle by Fondi I think they said nails on the tackle and it's a pickup of 32 and it's first and goal there was a chance for I couldn't tell who the Fondi player was in the hole there to make kind of an arm tackle on, uh, on Barry but Blake Berry, the powerful, like we said, 210-pound running back, ran straight through that arm tackle, barely missed a beat. Here is Berry, and he plunges his way into the end zone, and Kimberly responds with a nice scoring drive of their own. They just took that 80 yards on the scoring drive and cut into this Fondy lead, 14-6, to pending the extra point. It was a nine-play drive when all said and done for Kimberly. Very methodical and a nice job done from the papermakers to respond. 
Kick is up, and it is good. So 14-7 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. Fondy uh, absorbs a blow after getting that 14-0 lead. We'll take a timeout, come back with more. This is Fondy Football on Radio Plus Info. Okay, let's start with some clouds. Some mountains over there. And finally, a river. Hey, Dad. What? Looks like the perfect spot. American Family Insurance is here to protect your family on the road with the Travel Peace of Mind package. American Family Insurance. Visit Brad Tagla Petra today in Fond du Lac or Ripon. Back here at Fruith. Glad to have you along with us here tonight. Jordan King up in the press box. Kimberly responds with a nine-play, 80-yard scoring drive capped off by a one-yard touchdown plunge after a 32-yard scamper from Blake Berry. 14-7 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Today's game brought to you by these Fond du Lac area Edward Jones financial advisors, Robert Bruce, Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, and Patrick Gellisted. Edward Jones making sense of investing. Kimberly will send it deep in Dulski. That's not Dulski over there, and it's out of bounds anyway. Not a chance for Tyler Brandner to return it. And so Fondy will have some good starting field position. Fondy's two scoring drives, by the way. 69 yards on that second scoring drive in just three plays. And before that, that was the long scoring drive in 12 plays, 84 yards for the Cardinals. They have the number two team in the state. I, I don't know if it's... I don't know if it's on the ropes, quote unquote, on the ropes time yet uh, for the uh, for the Fondy Cardinals and the paper makers of Kimberly, but probably getting there. If the Fondy Cardinals can sustain this effort into the third, early parts of the fourth quarter, then you'd say they were they were on the ropes. High snap for Schreider. He handles it. The turn to give Eigenbrot, and Braden Eigenbrot is stacked up. Oh, we'll give him a – we're generous up here. We'll give him a yard. Probably didn't pick anything up. It's it's second and nine and a half. But we'll, uh, we'll say he picked up the yard. Second and nine with 6.34 to go here in the first half. After that first three and out for Fondy, which again was uh, penalty aided, they've done a nice job. Offensively able to move the football. Schreider stands in the pocket, receivers to either side, takes the snap. Has guys all down the middle of the field. He's going to go deep again. He's got his man batted away. What a play. I think that was number 20. I'm going to call that Cody Oberman, who just got a hand on that. Brandner had him beat. Oh, that was a beautiful pass from Steven Schreider. I thought that was destined for six. You know, the other a couple of other long plays, he has a 51-yarder to to Calvin Mullins and, and the 44-yarder to Branner earlier in the game. Those weren't quite out ahead, or they might have been touchdowns. That was. If that play isn't made by Kimberly, Fondy's celebrating six more. And the card's going to take a timeout uh, after that one as well. So we'll take it with them. 6.08 to go here in the first half. You're watching Fonny Football. Seven point lead and you're watching on RadioPlusInfo.com. Hi, my name is Jim Dreyfrist. I am one of the owners of Dufresne Moving and Storage. My grandfather started the business in 1931 with horse and wagon. And now we're a fourth generation company and have everything from Sprinter vans to 53 foot semis. We service the local community for both residential and commercial products. Hi, my name's Craig. I do the estimating for Dufresne moving in storage. I will come into the home, uh, take a look at uh, what you want us to move. Uh, we do all uh, 48 states. We also do local. And I will give you the estimate before I leave. Whether it's commercial or residential, you'll have a ballpark idea of what the move will cost. We also offer short-term storage with our storage on truck option. We also have long-term storage with our climate control vault system. One of the unique characteristics of Dufresne. It's a big third and nine here at Fruith. Fondy 
Facing the third and nine, Schreider's thrown for 143 yards here in this first half. Pressure brought by Kimberly. Schreider steps through it, has a man, and battle for it. Is it a pick or is it a catch? They're going to say Calvin Mullins brought down the catch, and it's a first down for Fondy. From the 35, 21, maybe 22, we'll call it 21 for Fondy. It's a first down. Another first down means moving the chains presented by Addison Jones. Call them, then call the movers. Another big play by number 15, Calvin Mullins. A first down for Fondy there into Kimberly territory. Under six minutes to play in the first half. Eigenbrod has some space. Makes a cut, breaks. Oh, I thought he was going to break the shoestring tackle. It was a good one by the linebacker, number 90, Sawyer Hanlon, able to hang on for dear life, a pickup of eight for Eigenbrod. And if he's able to pull his foot out of that, he at least has another six, seven yards able to belt forward, talking about uh, Braden Eigenbrot, 175-pound runner who runs like he's over 200 pounds. Big, powerful runner, but has that speed. You saw it there in the hole, able to make a cut. Second and two it is now a time for Fondy to take another shot. They've taken quite a few of them here today. No, they're going to hand it to Schreider oh, or up. Eigenbro, and what a play made by Michael Padgett. Six foot, 281 pounds, and he moved quickly through the hole. It looked like it was a loss of two, so it'll be third and four for the Cardinals. Schreider has looked good. Kimberly tried to bring press pressure and, and maybe disrupt what he was had been able to do up to that point. Schrader stepped right past all of that. Made the play. The pitch forward. Another pass to Dulski. Dulski puts his head down, tries to get north-south, picked up a yard. And it's going to be fourth and three. And decision time now for Coach Pluker and company. Fourth and three, four minutes left. You have the lead. Do you kick it deep? And make Kimberly travel the whole field on you in four minutes and probably three and a half by the time you punt the football. Or do you go for this? Looked like he's going to keep the offense out on the field. If he doesn't take a timeout, Fondy's going to go for it. Schreider sends a man in motion, takes the snap, play action. Has a man coming out the far side. It's the tight end. He makes the catch. What a catch on the near side. Max Mengel. They needed two, check that three, they got six. It was a nice catch by Mengel. Had to get the elbows underneath it. Mengel got six, check that seven, down to the 29 yard line. That is a huge play, put a star on that one. I kind of had the star on that, that earlier defensive play by Cody Oberman from Kimberly when he knocked down the pass. Earlier on this drive, the deep pass that would have went for a touchdown. Here's Eigenbrot. Steps through a tackle. Eigenbrot, 10, 5, dragged down inside the 5-yard line at the 1. It's a 28-yard pickup for Eigenbrot. Or I guess, yeah, they're going to put it at the 2, so 27 yards for Eigenbrot. So Fondi is back in business. That was a huge fourth down play. Mengel makes the play. Eigenbrot right after it. Has Fondi sitting down at the two. Eigenbrot in the backfield. High snap to Schreider. Brings it down. Pulls it. Gives it to Eigenbrot. And I think no gain on the play. Far side official said he's down at the one. Near side official said nothing. He got nothing. There, so they actually said he lost a, a half yard there. Looked like Eigenbrod at least got down to the goal line there. But uh, the near side official was very confident in saying he didn't get anything. Better view of it than I do have up here in the press box. Tyler Brandner back into the game for the Cardinals. Wagner Lang to the top, Brandner to the bottom. They got a fullback. That's number 24, Brody Schneider. Ahead of both Schreider, the pitch is to... Uh, Brandner on the jet sweep. Did he get in? Schreider puts his hands up. He thinks he was in. And they're going to say he was down. Brandner, wait, 
hang on. Now they're going to hold it. Kimberly's going to take a timeout. That they have the ball sitting. We're going to take a timeout here, but they have the ball sitting on that, almost sitting on the goal line. We'll take a look at that during the timeout. We're going to take it with them. One minute, 58 seconds in the first half. Quick 30 back after this. March and Schmidt has been a global leader in the manufacture of industrial food cutting solutions for over 55 years. Our staff is committed to using leading edge technology to create custom designs specifically for the food industry. March and Schmidt is proud of our manufacturing process and strive to produce the highest quality machinery every day. We're focused on one thing, satisfying our customers and giving them the best quality product. A complete turnkey solution provider integrating both processing and packaging equipment. Our team is focused on our customers' overall success while the family values drive our relationships. Back here at Fruth, Friday night football at Fruth. Doesn't get much better than this, does it? I mean, I, I task you to look at that football and tell me it's not touching the goal line. It's almost in the end zone. It's a big third and inches. You can't, I mean... Schreider's just got to dive this thing in, right? They snap it to him. Schreider gets a push. The whole pile's in the end zone. Steven Schreider and the Cards regain the lead, push that lead back out to 13 points. Regain the cushion is what I meant to say. 20 to 7 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. Eigenbrod helped push him in. Schreider doesn't need a ton of help. 6-2 quarterback. Use those long arms to put it in. Eigenbrot's fielder extra point is good. 21-7. And Fondy has regained some of the momentum. We'll take a timeout, come back after this. Been a good first half for Fondy. Can they finish it out? We'll find out next on RadioPlusInfo.com. Are you missing out on life? Does chronic joint pain prevent you from doing the things you love? I get it. All you think about is pain. This is Dr. Randy Blahoviak with New Medical Center. We have the solution to your problem. My name is Mary, and I was treated at the New Medical Center for knee pain. I couldn't walk long distances, stand up from a chair easily, or do stairs well. Now I can do all of these things and walk two miles. Hi, my name is Linda. I was treated at the New Medical Center for pain in both of my knees, and it has made a huge difference. I couldn't walk up the stairs, I couldn't get up and down easily off the floor after playing with my grandkids. Getting up off the couch at night was difficult. Now I can do all of that. Right now I have no pain in my knees. I would definitely recommend this procedure to anybody who has pain in their knees, and I would recommend that you do it sooner rather than later. Back here and another pooch kick. Fondy no one on it this time for the paper makers. Big scrum. Did Fondy get on top of it? They're adamant they did. No call yet. Waiting for the official from the far side to make the call. How have they not pointed a direction yet? Fondy came out of the pile with the football. Eigenbrot still pointing that way. Fondy can't believe there hasn't been a, an official call yet. I can't either. It looked pretty obvious. Uh, still no call. They're gonna, I guess they're going to say Kimberly football. A couple of heated conversations down there with a couple of Fondy players. An illegal touch on Fondy. So the second time Fondy has recovered an, a pooch kick. And Coach... Pluker wants an explanation there for the illegal touching penalty that gives the ball back to Kimberly. So the second time, and Coach Pluker's okay with the, the explanation he got, I guess. And he's going to have a chat with a couple of his assistants after that. Schreider has 173 yards here in this first half. Also has the rushing touchdown for the Cardinals as well. So... Good field position at the their own 40 for Kimberly. Myron in the shotgun, looks to the far side, has a man there, caught, and out of bounds near the first down marker is Jackson Garbage. 
And Darvish has eight on the pickup. Second and two, minute 47 as he went out of bounds. The clock stops moving. Two receivers to the near side, Garbage to the top. Myron in the shotgun, sends a man in motion. A little bit of a bump in the backfield there with his running back, Barry. He got the ball to the near side. That's number three, Jack Stotts. And Stotts picks up seven. Positive territory now for Kimberly. 15 yards on the first two plays. They're at the plus 45, and the clock begins to roll. 90 seconds left in the first half. Fondy leads it 21-7 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. Fondy's played extremely well here in the first half. Can their defense get yet another stop? They've had a couple. Oh, that's a nice play. Now far side, 14 Caleb Nails was kind of sitting on that hitch route. They've run it a couple of times. And a pickup of four before Kimberly has to use their second timeout. We're going to catch our breath, take the timeout with them, and come back with the final minute and change. You're watching Fondy Football on RadioPlusInfo.com. Stay with us. Hey, I'm Jeff Cornelli. I'm the owner of Tavern on the Avenue, Bob's on the Avenue, Just Love Coffee on the Avenue. Just Love Coffee is a franchise out of Nashville, Tennessee. We uh, actually interviewed 30 different people, and these people are above and beyond better than anybody else. 90% of the money that is made in the coffee shop is donated charities. There's nothing in Fond du Lac like this business. It's very upscale, it's family oriented. We got kids games, the kids can play their games, the families can come here at birthday parties and uh, have coffee at the same time. Back here at Fruth, it's second and six. From the Fondy 41 for Kimberly, Myron catches the shotgun snap, looks to the far side, he got his man Garbish out there. Garbish has had a really nice first half as well. Talked about how it was a two-headed monster in the running game. So far, it's just been pretty much all Blake Berry, but it's been a, a two-man passing game from for sure. That's a pickup of 10 yards on the play once again to Garbish. And Garbish up to 22 yards on this possession alone. Again, having a, a very nice night on that far side. He's working on Nails. Nails now matched up with the top target, uh, Kreider. Myron surveys the field. Now he's going to pull it down, run to the near side, get out of bounds at the 22 is about where he stepped out of bounds. That's where they will, oh, they're going to give him the 21. So a pickup of 10. Myron hasn't done that a ton. And really, on the season for Kimberly, Myron's rushed 12 times for 16 yard, negative 16 yards. So those probably just passing sacks, really. So Myron doesn't do that a whole lot. Um, but punished the Cardinals there to the tune of 10 yards and another first down for the Papermakers. One minute and two seconds left, 21-yard line. Myron takes the shotgun snap, looks to the far side. He's got a couple of receivers there, steps through the pressure. Now he's going to run it once again, breaks a Fondy tackle. And Fondy, oh, there's a fumble. Ball on the f ground, and Fondy's on top of it. Out of the pile comes Hel Heldon Krug Krieger, pardon me, Heldon Krieger with a huge play with 50 seconds left. Myron doesn't run much. He fumbled that time. So 50 seconds left in the first half. What does Fondy decide to do here? Do you take a couple of shots? Do you take one shot and then maybe you just... Sit on the football. One timeout left for Kimberly, so that certainly plays into it. You could just run the football and run this clock out, take the 14-point lead to halftime. That is a huge fumble by Myron on potentially the last play of the first half offensively for Kimberly. Here's a nice pass. Mengel once again makes a catch. Can he get out of bounds? He looked like he stayed in bounds. So Fondi may use their last time out. They only have one, 41 seconds left. Wait for the chains to get reset. It was a pickup of 31 
for Schreider, and he spikes the football. Well done by the Cardinals. They only lost two seconds there. So Schreider to Mengel for 31. Ball's out at the 37-yard line. And when you add those 31 yards to Steven Schreider's total, Schreider has thrown for 204 yards in this first half. 39 seconds, and it doesn't look like Coach Pluker is willing to sit on this. He sees the momentum. He wants to use it against the second-ranked team in the state. Eigenbrot to the near side, empty backfield. There is a, an H back up there. Eigenbrot back in. Now he's going on a wheel. Down the middle of the field. Got a man off the outstretched hands of Tyler Brandner. Brandner has streaked down the middle of the field about three or four times tonight and had a couple of opportunities. That one just a little bit out ahead of him, but a nice throw from Schreider once again. Not sure how many attempts and completions Schreider has, but he's over to the 200-yard mark. He has been dynamite here tonight. He's got a 15-yard touchdown pass. It was on one of those, on that corner post that post route to the, the corner of the end zone we talked about. And Fondi's going to have to use a timeout with a stopped clock here after taking the shot, not able to get the play call in, and everyone's set up quickly enough. We're going to take quick 30 seconds, come back, end of the first half after this. You dream it, we'll fabricate it. At Quest Interiors, we fabricate one-of-a-kind countertops just for your space. And buying direct saves you money. Visit our showrooms today in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac to start your transformation. Quest Interiors, exceptional style, exceptional savings. Back here at Fruth, glad to have you along. Beautiful night for football. Jordan King with you here in the Fruth Field press box. Third and 10 for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Had to use the first down play to spike the ball. Then they take the second down shot down the middle of the field off the hands of Tyler Brandner who was sprawled out as far as he could reach. And third and 10 now. Schreider in the shotgun. Eigenbrot alongside him. One receiver to the near side, two to the top of the screen. Play action. Schreider drops deep and overthrows his man, but that was uh, that was a one that Schreider threw that there was one thing that could have happened there other than, than Wagner Lang maybe climbing the ladder and, and making the catch. And that was he was he, – he was not going to – let that ball get picked off. It was going to be up top. I got 6-5. Ethan Wagner Lang to go get it if he can. Otherwise, this thing's going to fall incomplete. A little bit of a high snap. Fondy able to get the punt away. And it takes another Fondy bounce. That is a beauty inside the 25-yard line. Down to the 21-yard line for the Cardinals. 15 seconds left in the first half. So after... A 31-yard opening play, opening drive play to Max Mengel. The drive stalls for Fondi, but nonetheless, still, that is a huge momentum boost for the Cardinals. Looked like Kimberly was going to go in and make this a 21-14 ball game before Fondi able to force a Seth Myron fumble at the six and then flip the field like Fondi did. I thought maybe with 50 seconds left, they would just sit on it and get to halftime content, but they were aggressive, and you got to give Coach Blucher a lot of credit for that. High snap, and here is the give to the second of the two-headed monster that I touted. That's number 24, Gavin Tyson. Actually, you know what? Tyson is is kind of the you – no, know, Tyson is the, the second leading carrier. Braden Plew is the, the third – guy for Kimberly. So a pickup of five there for Tyson. Second and five. He went out of bounds, so clock stopped running, and Kimberly will have to snap the ball one more time. 
Here's Tyson on the near side. Kim, uh, Fond du Lac's just got to make a tackle. Able to do that out at the 35-yard line. Pickup of nine. And as soon as they reset the chains, the halftime intermission will be upon us. My, my, my. Kimberly better not have been looking forward to Nina next week. If they were, this is what you get. 21-7 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. Fondy has itself a halftime lead over the number two team in Division One in the state of Wisconsin. We're going to take a timeout. We come back. Got the Holiday Automotive halftime intermission highlights. So stick around for that. We'll give you some facts and figures here at halftime between the Cardinals and the Papermakers. On the Quest Interior scoreboard, Fondy leads it by 14. Stay with us. Halftime next. Hi, this is Danny and Heather with AirTech Heating. At AirTech, our motto is honesty, integrity, and quality craftsmanship. When it comes to your home, you want the person working on your equipment to be upfront and tell you what you need, but also what you don't need. We deliver whatever it takes service to take care of you. Our technicians are Nate certified, meaning they are the most highly trained in the industry to be servicing your equipment. If you're stuck with a broken furnace or air conditioner, call our team at AirTech Heating at 924-6742. The greatest gift a parent can give their children is hope for a better tomorrow. We offer that Christian hope at Winnebago Lutheran Academy. WLA is a premier Christian high school open to the Fond du Lac, Oshkosh, and surrounding communities. We participate in the Wisconsin Parental Choice Program and offer generous financial aid, making this private Christian education accessible to all. Schedule a tour today at wlavikings.org. When you hire the attorneys at Everson & Gibbs, you're getting more than professional representation. The attorneys at Everson & Gibbs are committed to excellence and have been successfully representing their clients since 2005. Practicing business law, estate planning, probate, guardianships, and real estate. They work closely with their clients providing exceptional legal services that are catered specifically to their needs. Call Everson and Gibbs at 920-922-7113 or go to eversonandgibbs.com. Music Industries and Fond du Lac would like to wish your local high school sports team best of luck this season. Music Industries is one of the area's top full-service manufacturers of precision metal stampings, laser cuttings, production machining and turning, tool and die manufacturing, and custom metal fabrication products. Music Industries is a third-generation family-owned company that started in 1965. To find out more, visit MusicIndustries.com. Good luck to all area athletes from your team at Music Industries, 33 East Larson Drive, Fond du Lac. Hi, this is Danny and Heather with AirTech Heating. At AirTech, our motto is honesty, integrity, and quality craftsmanship. When it comes to your home, you want the person working on your equipment to be upfront and tell you what you need, but also what you don't need. We deliver whatever it takes service to take care of you. Our technicians are Nate certified, meaning they are the most highly trained in the industry to be servicing your equipment. If you're stuck with a broken furnace or air conditioner, call our team at AirTech Heating at 924-6742. Apply now to qualify for the Sabre Award, a $500 per year scholarship at Marion University. Be admitted by January 1st and receive a $2,000 scholarship towards your degree. The Sabre Award is granted in addition to other scholarships, awards, and discounts. 100% of Marion University students receive financial assistance. College is affordable. Apply now at marionuniversity.edu forward slash apply. Real estate is something that we are doing together. We're in it together till the end. Uh, the best achievement that I can have is when the property successfully closes. Probably the most rewarding part of my, my role with Addison Jones and Signature Homes is the ability to take a client from the very beginning stages of building a new home all the way down to the point where we turn the key and move them in and watch their eyes light up as they see the finished product. Buy it, sell it, build it. That's Addison Jones. Glad to have you along here. Jordan King with you. Fondy football on RadioPlusInfo.com. 11 minutes and some change left in the halftime intermission. Fondy with a 21-7 lead over the Kimberly Papermakers. Number two team in the state. Fondy, that was... A very, very good first half. They had a three and out on the first possession. 
then scored on their next three possessions. You know, drives of 84 yards, 69 yards, and then 65 yards. Those are the scoring drives for Fondy. Some uh, highlights here in the first half. Uh, you know, the big, one of the big highlights was uh, Steven Schreider to put this thing at a 14-0 lead. Found Tanner Dalski on a post to the corner, left corner of the end zone. And Dalski able to make the play despite being interfered with. Just a, a tremendous play by the junior wide receiver slash running back Tanner Dalski. And uh, that was a big play. And uh, probably the play of the first half. Now, Schreider went deep all first half long. He found a 44-yard completion to Tyler Brandner. He had a, a 51-yard completion to Calvin Mullins. He had a couple of other long passing plays that were, were batted away. Uh, of course, he had the, the, the pass late there to Max Mengel for 31 yards. Just a couple of nice plays. Actually, quite a few nice plays by Steven Schreier. His it was just a very, very impressive first half from that young man leading the offense for the Fondy Cardinals. His stat line at halftime, 10 for 16, 204 yards and a touchdown. He also has a rushing touchdown, so he's accounted for two of the three touchdowns, has 204 yards, and once again, they've brought pressure. They've let him sit back there. He's surveyed the, the pocket. He is, it, Schreider is, has just been tremendous here in the first half. Stood tall when required, and uh, yeah, just a, a pleasure to watch here in this first half. And then uh, Eigenbrot, Braden Eigenbrot, you can't talk about Fondy offensively without him. He's got 53 yards, not super efficient tonight, but he's kept pounding and really found some, uh, that third scoring drive found some, uh, some room late with a 27-yard scamper uh, and uh, punched one in a little bit earlier in the ballgame. 53 yards on the ground for Braden Eigenbrot. Has the touchdown as well. And so that's how Fondy has scored. Uh, Strider on a touchdown plunge. Eigenbrot on a touchdown run. And then the 19, check that 15-yard touchdown pass to Tanner Dulski from Steven Schreider in the first half. Bands out there performing. They honored the... Uh, the youngsters tonight as well in the football program, the future Fondy Cardinals, they called them. And right now the current Fondy Cardinals are the story. 21-7, to leading Kimberly. Kimberly's broken off into you know four or five different groups down there in the north end zone trying to figure things out here. And Fondy, just a, a very nice job. Kimberly will receive the second half kickoff, so... Fondi's defense that has forced a couple of turnovers on downs. Can they do that again in the second half? That'll be a storyline for the Cardinals. They lead it, though, 21-7 here at halftime. We're going to take another three-minute timeout. When we come back, we will have Taco Bell halftime trivia here on RadioPlusInfo.com. Stay with us. Halftime show continues after this. Now more than ever, hospitality, restaurant, and retail enterprises demand the quality and innovation LK Interior Systems delivers. EIS takes ever-changing design trends and transforms them into meaningful and memorable customer experiences. Take pride in your work and apply at LKInteriorSystems.com. Hi, I'm Shannon Schill from LK Interior Systems in Fond du Lac. We are thrilled to be adding to our family. Our shift times can be uniquely flexible because we understand that there's life outside of work. Go to LKInteriorSystems.com to learn more about our open positions. When you hire the attorneys at Everson & Gibbs, you're getting more than professional representation. The attorneys at Everson & Gibbs are committed to excellence and have been successfully representing their clients since 2005. Practicing business law, estate planning, probate, guardianships, and real estate. They work closely with their clients providing exceptional legal services that are catered specifically to their needs. Call Everson and Gibbs at 920-922-7113 or go to eversonandgibbs.com. Are you missing out on life? Does chronic joint pain prevent you from doing the things you love? I get it. 
All you think about is pain. This is Dr. Randy Blahoviak with New Medical Center. We have the solution to your problem. If you suffer from debilitating and chronic joint pain, learn how innovative medicine with human cellular tissue products can get you back to living your best life. Hi, my name is Les. I've suffered with a bad right knee for 30 years or 40 years. Actually had a knee replacement scheduled and I looked into this and it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. My knee now, three months later, is almost like new. I can run up and down stairs, I can sit at a gym watching a basketball game. I'm really, really happy and pleased with the results. Plan is strongly recommending this to, and I have been recommending this to friends and family who have had joint issues, shoulders, backs, and knees. Call New Medical Center for an alternative approach with innovative medicine at 920-249-8757. Back here, the uh, Fond du Lac band. Sounds like a Backstreet Boys medley out here out here at halftime for the Fondy band, doing a great job. And uh, the Fondy football team, 21-7 to on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. It's time for Taco Bell trivia. Taco Bell now hiring in the Fond du Lac East and West Johnson Street locations. You know the drill. First correct email wins. Use uh, rpvideosports at gmail.com for your answers. rpvideosports at gmail.com. Ah, let's see here. Steven Schreider has had himself an evening, huh? He's accounted for two total touchdowns tonight. So I'm going to ask you to count those. How many touchdowns has Steven Schreider accounted for this season? He's got two tonight, so you got to count those. And then how many did he have coming in? And then tell me that total. So you got to do a little math. Figure out how many he had coming in. All right. RPVideosports at gmail.com. We'll uh, check that email, and first correct answer wins it. Now, we're all scattered about the uh, the flyway and the FVA every Friday night, so I, I apologize if one of the other broadcasters has asked this already. So if they have, I guess that means you get – free Taco Bell because then you just got to add two to whatever it was last week. <laughs> Taco Bell sponsoring our halftime trivia. Today's broadcast built in part by Capelli Brothers and Diedrich of Fond du Lac, building for the future since 1948, commercial and office, industrial and manufacturing, warehouse, storage and more. Trust the best and trust Capelli Brothers and Diedrich. Plan for success today. Carpentry, concrete, masonry and more. Log on to capellidedrick.com. Steven Schreider, how many has he, how many touchdowns has he accounted for? Oh, you guys aren't giving him enough credit. I got a couple of nines. I, I need, you know, rushing touchdowns, passing touchdowns. How many has Schreider accounted for this season? Give him a little more credit than nine. How about that? There's, there's your hint. Okay, so we've got a seven, a couple of nines coming in. Give Steven Schreider a little more uh, little more credit. Here tonight, in case you're just joining us, we'll recap the halftime show thus far. 10 of 16, 204 yards, one passing touchdown. Also has a rushing touchdown. He had a one-yard touchdown plunge. That was his only carry of the first half as well. So um, unless I got the wrong statistics, I... Uh, I think we're. I, I think uh, we're, we need more than nine. Everyone's saying nine, so I'll double check. But uh, the the statistics I had printed off is is nine is is not enough for Steven Schreider. We're gonna take a timeout. We'll come back with more after this, and we'll keep that open uh, through uh, through the second half as well until we get a correct answer, uh, at least based on on my statistics. How about that? There you go. Back with more. This is Fondy Football. You're watching on RadioPlusInfo.com. There's a true team culture here. You see it, you feel it, and it makes the customer experience so much better. I think the thing that makes Holiday worth the trip is the people inside the building. They all share a common goal of taking care of the customer. Navigate today's car market with confidence and drive inspired with Team Holiday on your side. Say yes to enticing offers and get more for your trade. Choose one that's in stock today or reserve one that's on the way. Find yours and discover the difference. At Holiday Mazda Fond du Lac. It's worth the trip.
that melty cheese you crave with double the steak is back at Taco Bell. The double steak grilled cheese burrito. The greatest gift a parent can give their children is hope for a better tomorrow. We offer that Christian hope at Winnebago Lutheran Academy. WLA is a premier Christian high school open to the Fond du Lac, Oshkosh, and surrounding communities. We participate in the Wisconsin Parental Choice Program and offer generous financial aid, making this private Christian education accessible to all. Schedule a tour today at WLAVikings.org. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, come on, Tony. Come on. Come on. Well, come on. Come on. Yeah. Good boy. Come here. Come on. Jackson, are you going to come over here? Matt and Becca. Back here at... Fruith Field. We're getting closer to the touchdown total for Steven Schreider. Now, uh, you know, if you're checking, we're not just talking FVA statistics. Some of these are getting close to FVA statistics uh, for Schreider, but I'm talking about the whole season, the whole uh, whole campaign so far for Steven Schreider. Got to got to give me a few more. How he's got two tonight. You got to add those in there as well. So. We've got a couple of answers that are getting close there, uh, but we haven't zoned in on the uh, the actual number yet for Steven Schreider. I, I didn't, you know, I wasn't sure. wasn't sure if this would be a, a tough halftime trivia question, but if we got to continue it into the second half, we can certainly do that. We want to get you guys some uh, some Taco Bell here, so we'll we'll keep that open. In the first half, there was a big defensive play. And I want to make sure we mention this as well in terms of highlights. Heldon Krieger able to pounce on a fumble by Seth Myron. Myron, the 6'5 quarterback for the Papermakers, senior quarterback, and able to uh, not able to dive in. He was trying to break a tackle and, and get a few extra yards for the Papermakers. And, uh, oh, we are very close. Checking the, the RP video sports at gmail.com account. We're within, we're within one. So we, we're getting close now. I think we're going to give away some halftime, uh, some halftime Taco Bell here if we, uh, if we finally get it. So, but that was a big play. Uh, and I couldn't, we couldn't tell. It was a big mess. Uh, a couple of us, you know, looking around in the press box who, who poked that away for the Cardinals. Not able to really see that in live time. There was a couple of different Cardinal players there, but uh, it was un you, you, there was no debate who who recovered it. Alden Krieger was sprinting towards the sideline with the ball in his hand, um, and that was a, a, a huge play because again, it really did look like you know Kimberly was able to move the football all the way down the field. Looked like they were going to cut that from a 21-7 to a 21-14 lead. Instead. Uh, the Cardinals able to force a turnover and uh, you add that to a couple of turnovers on down and, and that was a couple of big plays. We're going to take a quick 30 second timeout. When we come back we will have the second half of action. Fondy and Kimberly. Fondy leads by 14. Back after this. Integrity Saw and Tool is a proud sponsor of Fond du Lac Area Sports. They wish the best of luck to all local teams this fall and winter. Integrity prides itself on being the fastest producer of high-quality cutting tools and providing the most reliable sharpening service in the industry. If you're looking for a challenging career with excellent benefits and a family atmosphere, contact the team at IntegritySaw.com. That's IntegritySaw.com. Back here at Fruith Field, Jordan King with you. Fondy Cardinal football. On radioplusinfo.com, if this if if the answer was on a dartboard, we have thrown a bunch of darts and we have hit everything on the dartboard except for the correct answer. We are we are right there. The halftime trivia question was: How many touchdowns has Steven Schreider accounted for for the Cardinals this season? 
And we still are waiting for that correct answer. You're gonna win six hundred and one dollars tonight for the uh the flagpole. For the Cardinals. So we'll we'll tell you after we get the correct one. If we don't get one at the end of the night, I'll still try to remember to tell you what the answer was. Uh, if you guys end up giving up and and just don't believe me, but we'll get there. Fondy's gonna have to kick it deep. So Eigenbrot's first action of the second half will be to send the ball deep to the paper makers. And the one of their dangerous athletes, Jake Stott, Stotts, is the return man. Jack Stotts, pardon me. Sorry about that. Today's game brought to you by these Fond du Lac area. Edward Jones Financial Advisors, Robert Bruce, Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, Patrick Gellisted, Edward Jones making sense of investing. Eigenbrot sends it deep. This is actually a little bit shorter, so it is the up man who takes it. It looks like 25. I couldn't see a number there on the far side. Yeah, there's a 25, and there's no 25 in their roster. So good starting field position here in the second half for Kimberly at their own 37 yard line. I'd say anything over the 35 is good field position. If you're in the opponent's territory, that's excellent field position in my opinion. Here's the snap to Myron, the turn, the give, and Barry up the middle, cuts back towards the left, and he's bro brought down after a pickup of about five. Good start for Barry. Barry has had to be patient. Uh, you know, we had, we had him for four carries and six yards early in this one, he had carries of 0, 1, 2, and 3. And a Fondy player down there will take a timeout. Looks like it might be Eigenbrot down there. We're going to take a timeout and come back after the injury has cleared the field. You're watching Fondy Football on RadioPlusInfo.com. Are you unsure of what career path you want to take? Musa Sheet Metal is looking for motivated individuals to join their highly regarded... Back here at Fruth. And Eigenbrode able to make his way off the field under his own power. Good to see there for the Cardinals, certainly. Second and five. Myron in the shotgun formation. Got a fullback and a running back. The running back is Barry. Barry straight up the middle, runs into a couple of Fondy Cardinals defensively, and about five Cardinals come crashing through the line. Pickup of nothing. Might have lost about half a yard. It's going to be third and five. 11 minutes. Just getting going here in the second half. And Eigenbrook back right back onto the field for the Cardinals. Good to see. Good to see him back out there. I didn't think he was going to take a whole lot, whole lot of convincing to get him back out onto the field, that's for sure. Myron in the shotgun, receivers to the near side and two of them to the far side. Myron, shotgun, takes the snap, drops back, and a nice tackle made, but a first down for Garbish. First first down of the second half. So it's out to midfield after a pickup of eight for number eight for Kimberly. That's where the ball sits. Joe wishing his grandson PJ a happy 11th birthday. Also guessed 14. That wasn't quite right, but thanks for the guess and happy birthday to PJ. Pickup of five here, and that is Gavin Tyson. Tyson only got a couple of carries, and they were at the end of that first half, but he has looked good since he got, you know, that's just his third carry. Um, but he had a, a pickup of nine, pickup of five, and now a, another pickup of five. 
So 19 yards on three carries, and we do have a winner. Jeremy guesses 17 touchdowns for Steven Schreider, and that's correct for Jeremy. And now we get a couple of other 17s in right after that as well. But Jeremy was the first one in there with 17. Schreider had 15 coming into tonight. He's got two accounted for tonight, one rushing, one passing for the Cardinals uh, to build this 14-point lead. Myron in the shotgun with Barry back there as well. Sends a man in motion. That's Tyson. The give is to Barry. Oh, he's hit in the backfield and dragged down. What a play by the Fondy defensive line. And that's number 68, Matt Roosh. Roosh, pardon me. Yeah, well, Roosh. I'm going to go with Roosh. That's, that's more fun to say. That's what the PA said, too. Third and eight. He came just blasting through that offensive line. Fondy had a couple of guys, I think, in the wrong spot. A little shoulder shimmy there from Myron. Myron breaks contain. Can he get out to the edge? Oh, what an open field tackle. It's Eigenbrot. Taking down the Kimberly quarterback. Gain of nothing, and it's fourth and six. They're going to say he picked up two, and I think Kimberly is bringing on the punt formation. Yeah, they're going to send their star receiver, Ethan Kreider, back to send this deep. And Tyler Brandner will be the man deep for the Cardinals. A little bit of a high snap there. Kreider brings it down. Fondy's got to be careful, stay away from it. Bounds inside the 20 and nestles at the 19-yard line. So this Fondy defense has done a really nice job over the course of the first half and then the first four minutes of this one. Fondy's going to trot their offense back out there which since going three and out on the first possession of the night has done a nice job. Able to uh, move the ball against this paper maker defense with, with relative ease at least. That's what they're making it look like. I know nothing's easy at this level against a team like Kimberly, but Fondi is, is making it look good so far. Eight minutes left here in the third quarter. First snap of the second half is a direct snap. Down the right side, that's Dulski and Tanner Dulski has a pickup of 11 or 12. They're going to give him 12 on that one. And a first down for Fondi. First first down of the second half. That means moving the chains once again for the Cardinals. And that's brought to you by Addison Jones Real Estate. Call them, then call the movers. They've started both halves tonight with direct snaps to Tanner Dalski. Here's another direct snap to Dalski. Spinning forward. Takes a pretty good hit there. But he picked up about six or seven, depending on the spot before that. And still yet to see Steven Trider in the second half. Haven't needed it as of yet for the Cardinals. And confirmation after the spot, seven-yard pickup. 7.19 and the clock's ticking here in the second half. Dalski's going to stay in as the Wildcat quarterback. Snap to him. No, this time the direct snap to the... Other player in the backfield, I think that was Brandner, but no, they're Eigenbrot, pardon me. And Eigenbrot picked up two yards, third and one. He's brought down after a gain of two out to the 40-yard line. Third and one. Coming on to the field now is Ethan Wagner Lang. Eigenbrot and Dulski in the backfield. Snap could go to either one. It goes to Dulski. Dulski around that right side as he has been all day. Pushes forward. Another first down for Fondy. Presented by Addison Jones. Nice hard run there. Out to the 43 pickup of three for Tanner Dulski. And Dulski is, has 22 yards here in this. Oh, well, they're going to give him four as he fell forward there. And now Steven Schreiter, after four plays, is finally out there for the Cardinals. And as I said at halftime, he has had a lot of success testing this papermaker defense deep. 
down the middle of the field. Here's the give to Eigenbrot. And Eigenbrot picked up a pair. Tell you what, th those are two hard earned yards for Braden Eigenbrot uh, to set up a second and eight. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it keeps you on schedule to a certain extent. I, ideally, you'd like to get, well, I mean, I, in an ideal world, you, you run it for 10 every time, but I know ideally you'd like to get four or five yards on that first down play, really opens up the playbook. But for the Cardinals, those two yards, I think that's a big deal. Here's Schreider, drops back to pass, looks to the near side, gone. Oh, it's tipped away. I don't think the catch was completed. It would have been a fumble if it was. Calvin Mullins had the ball pop loose after he hit the ground. He went up and got it. It's good play by the Kimberly defender. Once again, number 20, Cody Oberman, who is, you know, in that first half, tipped one away from Tyler Brandner, which would have been a touchdown. That time just stayed with the play to force the incompletion. The first incompletion here of the second half for Steven Schreider on his first pass attempt of the second half. He's 10 for 17 now on the night. Over 200 yards passing. Five minutes and 23 seconds left in the third quarter with a 14-point Fondy lead. Ethan Wagner-Lang is the near side receiver. Here's Schreider under pressure. He goes down the first time tonight. Steven Schreider has been sacked. It's number 34, Connor Schiesel. And after Fondy forces the punt, Fondy is going to have to punt the ball back to the paper makers and got to be careful a little bit Jack Stotts the dangerous return man for Kimberly awaits he's got his heels at about the 32 yard line Eigenbrot will be on to punt and gets off a dandy it's going to get over Stotts' head checks up Stotts is going to take it at about the 21 yard line and there's a block in the back there's the flag fumble balls out and it looked like Fondy's on top of it. Fondy's bench thinks so. It's Fondy football. Xander Scannell looked like the first one there. There was a block in the back. And one of the Fondy players is, is down. He's, he's quickly off the field. And discussion here. It it was uh, looked like a clear block in the back, so this should stay with Fondy. We'll, we'll get confirmation of that. Block in the back on Kimberly. Declined. Fumble. Football. Fond du Lac. Xander Scannell was the first one there. I don't know if he actually ended up with the ball. Oh, what a couple of plays. So Fondi has the football once again in plus territory. The two fumbles from Kimberly back to the Wildcat. Far side, Tanner Dalski. Looked like he picked up four on that one. Should be second and six or thereabouts for the Cardinals. Yeah. Number 20, Cody Oberman. You know, we talk, I talked about it in the pregame. We talked about, you know, Fondi has turned the ball over this year. I, you know, I wouldn't say they're careless with the football, but they have been prone to the occasional turnover just about, you know, at least once per game statistically. Well, so far tonight they've forced two fumbles, haven't turned the ball over themselves. Every Fondi fan knocking on wood. Here's Dalski pulled down from behind this time, and he lost a yard on this one, so it'll be third and seven. But, and then a couple of turnovers on downs that Fondi has been able to get. Schreider's gonna come down for a third, come on for a third and seven play for the Cardinals into plus territory. If they can get a little something Wonder if this is four down territory, kind of in that no man's land. This is, seems like every, you know, this may be four down territory even if they don't get anything for the Cardinals, you know, at the high school football level. Here's a nice pass. Ethan Wagner Lang lays out and he just has it pop out of his hands. Schreider has took a hit after he uh, let that one fly. It was a terrific pass to Ethan Wagner Lang who used 
every inch of his 6-5 frame but couldn't pull it in. Two minutes and 53 seconds left in the third quarter. Schreider in the offense looks to be staying out on the field. There was a seven-yard pickup in the first half on a big fourth down. Fondy looked the way of big tight end Max Mengel. See if they do something similar here. Racing on to the field late is Calvin Mullins with the play. Fourth and seven for the Cardinals. Coach Pluker is right next to the official, so if he has to take the timeout, he's there. Instead, Schreider takes the snap. Looking Ethan Wagner, Whitlang's way. It's a pass to the boundary. Looked like a coming together. Didn't know if that was going to be unintentional there, and they were just going to say it was a, a mix-up of the feet. The flag came flying, though. Big call here. Wagner Lang got outside leverage and then looked like it was just kind of a, a random coming together sort of. But I think we're going to get a pass interference call, which would give Fondy a first down. Pass interference on the paper makers. Well, highlight that one. Would have been an incomplete on fourth and seven. Instead, the 15-yard penalty has it down at the 27 or 25-yard line of the papermakers. Not much going the papermakers' way recently. Fumble on the return, the punt return. Big penalty there to sustain the Fondy drive. Eigenbrot straight up the middle. Kind of put a star next to that pass interference. DPI going for 15 yards. Pickup of one for Braden Eigenbrot there. Second and nine. Two minutes and 23 and counting down here in this third quarter. Tanner Dalski races back onto the field. If you're a Fondy fan, that clock can't tick fast enough for you. Eigenbrot in the backfield. Dalski's at the near side to see if they send him in motion to the far side instead. Screen pass being set up. There is Dalski. Oh, it was just well sniffed out by that Kimberly defense. First man there was number 95, Braxton Raider. And he that was great eye discipline not to be worried about that eye candy. They send Brantner in motion to the far side did the Cardinals trying to get Kimberly flowing one way and then send it back to their speed demon Tanner Dulski on the near side. Dulski ended up losing a yard. Third and 10 for the Cardinals. And once again, Brandner in motion over the little bit of an out route and that should be a first down pending the spot. Not a terrific spot, but Max Mengel, I think, picked up enough for a Fondy first down. They're going to stop the clock and say fourth down. That was not a good spot on the far side. So pickup of 10 fourth and inches for Fondy. They're going to bring on number 42, Austin Hughes, to block. Dalski's there. They can run it outside with him as well. Fondy races forward. Is Schreider just going to run forward? He's going to lean his long frame forward. That's a first down for the Fondy Cardinals. Needed half a yard. He got one. And Fondy fans are going nuts. They're on their feet. Tyler Brandner back onto the field. Fondy just inside the 15 at the 14-yard line. First and 10. Under 42 seconds left here in the third quarter. Fondy races back to the line. Schreider under center. Don't see him there a ton. Pitch to Eigenbrook. Cuts up the field. Gains about six yards. And that should be the last play of the third quarter if Fondy wants it to be. I would suspect it will. Fondy comes trotting back over to the near side. Ball will be placed at the nine-yard line. Say it was a pickup of six. Second and four when we return. Fondy going to head back, put four, four fingers in the air. Fondy leads it. Is there an upset on the horizon? 21-7, fourth quarter action coming up next. You're watching on RadioPlusInfo.com.
Are you unsure of what career path you want to take? Musa Sheet Metal is looking for motivated individuals to join their highly regarded apprenticeship program. Throughout the program, you'll learn the skills to be able to run your own job site. A career at Musa Sheet Metal is a chance to join a driven team working together to design and build products to help build communities. Learn more at musasheetmetal.com. That's musasheetmetal.com. Build products that build communities. Apply at musasheetmetal.com. Money isn't just about, or that, that education isn't just about, well, I have $100 in my account, I can spend up to $100. Scotty's Auto Works, for affordable auto care, from tires and alignments to routine auto maintenance. Trust the guys at Scotty's Auto Works, next to Pump and Pantry Fond du Lac. Back here at Fruth, and they're playing jump around. You can see it. These fans are going crazy. Fondy fans trying to will an upset here tonight. Second and four, ball is placed at the nine-yard line after a six-yard first-round pickup from Braden Eigenbrook. Twenty-one-seven on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. Schreider in the shotgun. Two receivers. One of them is Eigenbrook on the near side. The pitch forward, and trying to pick his way around the right side is Calvin Mullins. And Mullins picked up maybe a, a yard there. We'll give him a yard down to the eight-yard line. We'll call it third and a long three or third and four. We'll say third and four up here. That was another completion for Steven Schreider. You know, these touch passes, they make that 70% completion percentage a much more attainable mark than maybe it used to be in high school football. Schreider on an out route. Oh, he had, I think that was Mengel. Or couldn't, couldn't tell who that was coming out of the backfield. It was not Mengel. For number, 24. number 24, Brody Schneider. And it's fourth and four. They gonna kick it with Eigenbrot or go for it? Looks like Eigenbrot's going to put down the the T and Schreider will hold. All said, it's a 25-yard field goal attempt for the Cardinals, and it's good. That is a big field goal by Eigenbrot, and Fondi extends their lead to 24-7 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. We'll take a quick timeout, come back with more. Fondy leads it 24 to seven, back after this. March and Schmidt has been a global leader in the manufacture of industrial food cutting solutions for over 55 years. Our staff is committed to using leading edge technology to create custom designs specifically for the food industry. March and Schmidt is proud of our manufacturing process and strive to produce the highest quality machinery every day. We're focused on one thing, satisfying our customers and giving them the best quality product. A complete turnkey solution provider integrating both processing and packaging equipment. Our team is focused focused on our customers' overall success while the family values drive our relationships. Back here at Fruth, Braden Eigenbro getting ready to send it deep to the papermakers. Fondy leads it by 17. Today's broadcast brought to you in part by these Fond du Lac area Edward Jones financial advisors, Robert Bruce, Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, Patrick Gellestead, Edward Jones making sense of investing. Line drive kick from Eigenbro, and that one's muffed. And just covered up there by number 16, Braden Ellefson. Six. Braden Ellefson is number 16 for the Papermakers. Braden Eigenbrot is 16 for the Cardinals. 11 11 left in the fourth quarter. And the Fondy Cardinals wishing they can close this thing out against the Papermakers. 24 to 7. I would say now you can say the Cardinals have the number two team in the state on the ropes. In the shotgun, this is Myron and the give. And Fondy once again doing a terrific job on that defensive front to stop Barry after just a gain of one. Second nine. Uh, just a host of Cardinals there. They said Heldon Krieger was the first one there 
I believe that. Heldon Krieger, the outside linebacker, has been terrific for the Cardinals all season long, but tonight has that big fumble recovery in the first half, been flying around the field, filling the gaps in the run game and also stringing things out on the edge. That's a nice catch. Good throw from Myron, and he found, finds the not-so-off-targeted Isaac DeCant, or Deccant, pardon me, and out to the 35-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup. First and 10 for the Papermakers, who don't have, it's not hurry up time, but you can't take too long if you want to avoid having to recover a couple of onside kicks and don't get the Fondy Cardinals started about that. They thought they had a couple of pooch kicks recovered here tonight. They haven't needed them, surprisingly. Myron, turn, give, oh, right through the middle. 97, Brandon Danner. Or Daner, sorry. <laughs> Had the uh, the wrong mark in my uh, program there, Daner. But he came flying through the line. Loss of two. Second and 12. Fondy students chanting defense. They want this defense that has done a tremendous job against a team that is averaging 40 points per game. Currently sitting at seven. Myron rolls out of the pocket, finds his... Favorite target, that is Ethan Kreider. And Kreider picks up enough for the first down out to the 46-yard line. That's a 13-yard pickup from number 13 to number 10, the uh, oft-targeted Ethan Kreider. Kreider is played in the slot most of the game here tonight and kind of runs those those slot type of routes that you see a lot of those successful slot receivers in the NFL. That was a false start. And <laughs> wasn't a flag on the near side, but the left tackle was a couple yards downfield by the time the ball was snapped. So it'll be first and 15 for Kimberly. Nine minutes and three seconds left in a, a clock that isn't moving fast enough for the Cardinals, and I'm sure moving way too fast for the undefeated fans of Kimberly. Ball sits at the 41-yard line of the Papermakers. And Myron is in the shotgun. Flips it forward to Kreider. There's a flag in the backfield. Not sure what this might be, but Kreider just broke a tackle. He's free on the near side. Tracked down in the secondary. And number nine, Halden Krieger, was the one who was able to run him down. There's a flag in the secondary as well. First flag is on Kimberly. Second flag is so the second flag on the Cardinals. We'll see. There's going to be a conversation here by the officials, I think. Holding against Kimberly. Illegal shift against Kimberly. Well, now... Where was the hold? If the hell hold, uh, I guess, occurred downfield, that would be why they declined that. So it was the the hold was at the end of the run. That's why Fondy declined that because obviously the hold is a 10-yard penalty and the illegal shift is just a 5-yard penalty, but they would have had the first down either way. So they take the illegal shift, and it's a first and 20-ish. This is a jump ball caught, and it's going to go for six. Jackson Garbish. Garbish down the near left side. It looked like it was going to be picked by Caleb Nails. And it's a 64 yard touchdown for the Papermakers. And the air just sucked out of this place in a hurry. It was a little bit underthrown jump ball. Nails not able to time it quite right. And Fondy's lead is an extra point away from dwindling down to 10. It's a low snap, but a good hold and a good kick. So it's a five-play drive for Kimberly to get them back into it. 8.33 left. 
Kimberly cuts the deficit to 10. Back after this. For over 100 years, the name coal is synonymous with quality fuels, lubricants, and propane. That's because coal is the area's trusted source for farm, construction, and trucking companies, as they partner with these companies to help them achieve their unique goals. The team at Coal Oil & Propane is dedicated to serving you. They pride themselves on a customer-first approach and work hard to make sure you're satisfied. You can rely on coal for prompt delivery, competitive prices, and quality service. Learn more at coaloilandpropane.com. it, we'll fabricate it. At Quest Interiors, we fabricate one-of-a-kind countertops just for your space. And buying direct saves you money. Visit our showrooms today in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac to start your transformation. Quest Interiors, exceptional style, exceptional savings. Back here at Fruth, Fondy leads Kimberly 24-14 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. Jordan King with you up here in the press box at Fruth Field. And the kick deep, angling towards Brandner. Brandner will take it at the 15, across the 20, out near the 25, where he is shoved out of bounds. Good coverage by Kimberly on the kickoff. Looked like he was at about the 34-yard line is where they were going to mark that. They're going to trot all the way out to the 35, and that's where Fondy will get started. So decent field position here for the Cardinals. And if nothing else, you're just looking for a sustain, sustained drive, excuse me, which Fondi has had ever since the first play or the first drive of the night, which was a three and out. Everything since then has been relatively sustained here. Man in motion, the give straight up the mid- middle, Dalski. And Dalski plows his way forward for a pair, uh, pair on first down, sets up second and eight. And if you're Fondy, that clock's got to find a way to start moving a little bit quicker here. It's going to tick under eight minutes here on this next snap. Dalski's had a nice night. Tanner Dalski caught the touchdown pass earlier in the first half. That was the touchdown pass that made it 14-0 at the time. Kimberly responded with a touchdown. Fondy responded with a touchdown of its own. Make it 21-7. Here's a high snap fielded by... Uh, uh, Schreider, excuse me, and Dalski lost his footing or he would have had the first down. He picked up seven regardless and sets up a third and one. Fondi's got to get the ball to the 40-yard line. This drive started at the 30, not the 35. Apologies about that. Schreider in the shotgun on third and one. Give to Dalski with a head of steam. Tanner Dalski picks up five out to the 44-yard line. 14 yards for Tanner Dalski on the first three plays of this drive. And there's a good start to the drive for Fondi. Two-possession game, seven minutes left. Coming up after the game, we got the Fox, Fox Valley Savings Bank post-game show. Hope you'll stick around and join us for that. Give you a player of the game, a play of the game, which maybe we haven't seen quite yet. We'll see. Schreider in the shotgun right now. Turn give. Dalski up the middle, breaks a tackle. Near side 40, 30. Got a blocker out ahead at the 20. 10, 5, dives, touchdown. Tanner Dalski, 56 yards to the house. For the Fondy Cardinals, who are back in control at Fruth. Play of the game, anyone? Player of the game, anyone? Tanner Dalski wants to throw his name in the hat. Eigenbrot. Looking to add the extra point. He does so successfully. 31-14 on the scoreboard. And Fondy back in control over the papermakers. We'll take a timeout back after this. Real estate is something that we are doing together. We're in it together till the end. Uh, The best achievement 
that I can have is when the property successfully closes. Probably the most rewarding part of my, my role with Addison Jones and Signature Homes is the ability to take a client from the very beginning stages of building a new home all the way down to the point where we turn the key and move them in and watch their eyes light up as they see the finished product. Buy it, sell it, build it. That's Addison Jones. Condex Corporation in Lamira is a proud manufacturer of cutting parts for the agriculture and lawn and turf industry. Condex is currently looking to add to their second and third shifts in various roles. Assembler, machine operator, and CNC operator. See for yourself what it's like to work in a company that's focused on innovation and continuous improvement. Condex offers a great work environment, including a climate-controlled manufacturing facility. Condex Corporation, 1500 Technology Drive in Lamira. Apply online today at Condex.com. Back here at Fruth, and the pickup or the kickoff, pardon me, is picked up by Stotts, and he gets out near the 22-yard line. Thirty-one to fourteen. Today's broadcast is built by Capelli Brothers and Diedrich of Fond du Lac, building for the future since 1948. Commercial and office, industrial and manufacturing, warehouse storage, and more. Trust the best. Trust Capelli Brothers and Diedrich. Plan for success today. Carpentry, concrete, masonry, and more. Log on CapelliDiedrich.com. Log on CapelliDiedrich.com. So what does Seth Myron and the papermakers have to respond to that? Four carries that go for 70 yards for Tanner Dalski. Well, it's a quick flip out here to... Stotts, and Stotts picks up eight on the play. St I haven't called Stotts' name a ton tonight, but he's kind of that quick, quick twitch kind of player, plays both sides. Seen him in the secondary, actually called his name more on defense than offense so far tonight, but a nice play there. Actually fell forward for nine and sets up a second and one. The clock, though, is ticking, and we're under six minutes to play. Here's a pass behind his intended receiver for Myron. He was looking for Lance Deering, and was about two yards behind him. Deering couldn't reach back and kind of lost his footing, it looked like, here on the Fruth Field turf. Sure, it's a little slick out there now as we get into the evening hours and starting to cool down after we hit the nine o'clock hour 51 degrees out there right now just a little breeze really not not doing anything to the flagpole five minutes and 48 seconds Kimberly's gotta gotta go quickly now they did so on their last drive scored a 64 yard touchdown if they uh, scored from here it'd be 67 yards eerily similar place on the field the play action, look over the middle, and he finds his man. Nice play made once again by number 40, Isaac DeCant. Or Deccant. I'm never going to get that right. And he's into Fondi territory at the 42-yard line. Picked up 35 on that one. Myron in the shotgun, looking to the near side. This pass is low but caught. Nice play by Kreider. Kreider inside the 30, down to the 27-yard line. Eigenbrot was there to make the stop. That was a pickup of 16 by my count. And to the 26-yard line. So three straight completions here from Myron, who has looked good in the second half, finds Stotts once again. Stotts strikes a couple of Fondi defenders inside the 15, but the clock's going to stop or keep running. So it's inbounds. Now they'll stop it for the chains to reset, but that will start as soon as the chains do get reset. That's down to the 12-yard line, so a pickup of 14 this time to Stotts. Carried a couple of Fondi defenders. The clock continues to run. We're inside five minutes now. Myron in the shotgun has a runner back there. They're going to try to set up a little bit of a screen underneath. Touchdown, Kimberly. 
Diving into the end zone is Gavin Tyson. That is what the paper makers ordered. Perfect passing from Seth Myron. Perfect on the drive. Five for five and takes the paper makers quickly down the field. And they cut into a 31-14 lead, trying to make it once again a 10-point deficit. It was 12 yards on the touchdown pass that time to Gavin Tyson, the second of the running backs. Good snap, good hold, and through. It's a 10-point game. We're going to take a timeout. 31-21 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Back with more after this. Hey, Fond du Lac's best kept secret is no more. Operation Best Chicken and Friday Fish from a Sea Store is out. Pioneer Pit Stop. Yes, Pioneer Pit Stop has some of the best takeout in town. The best part, no reservations needed. No need to drive halfway across the country. No special dress code, other than you need to be dressed. You're in and out with piping hot chicken or fish that you thought came from a supper club. Of course, fuel, beer, liquor, ice, snacks, groceries, and tons of other things we all need are always in stock. Pioneer Pit Stop, 20 East Pioneer Road, across from Tucker's on South Main Street. It's Fishlicious. Back here at Fruth, glad, glad to have you along. Four minutes and 46 seconds left on the clock. And Coach Pluker is going to send the hands team out here. He does not trust that Kimberly's just going to belt this one deep. The deep man, deepest man for Fondy is Kelvin Mullins. Here's a line drive kick. It's going to go out of bounds. And if you're Fondy, thank you very much for that. And it'll come back out to the 35, where Fondy will start this next possession. Last time Fondy had the ball, it was all Tanner Dalski. Four straight carries for 70 yards, went 2-7-5, and then 56 yards, broke a couple of tackles, and he was gone down this near right sideline to make it a 31-14 game. So ball will be placed at the 35. And that is where Fondi will take over. Dalski, going back to the first half, talked about him making the play on the play to the corner of the end zone. Dalski's the running back once again. They hand to him. He dives forward. And just like a couple of minutes ago, he picks up two yards on the first carry of the drive. Now, if he picks up seven on this one, then maybe you can start getting excited, Fondy fans. Maybe that means another 50-plus yard home run run is coming out of Tanner Dulski. Eigenbrot runs the next play back in, so they'll have Dulski, Eigenbrot on the field as well. And then Ethan Wagner Lang is the receiver to the far side of the field. Would not be shocked to see Dalski go in motion here and try to get to the perimeter, perhaps. Clock's going to tick under four minutes on this play, and Schreider's going to wait for the back judge to hold his hand up and start counting as the final couple seconds of the play clock. There goes Dalski in motion. They're going to try to get uh, Eigenbrot on a little screen pass. And that goes incomplete, so that's going to stop the clock. Third and eight. Brought on Eigenbrot and tried to get him the ball out of the backfield on a screen pass. Dalski's going to come off this time, as will number 24, Brody Schneider. And they're going to send on a couple of extra receivers. Brandner back on, as is Mullins. Schreider, they going to... Is Fondy going to put it on the arm of their senior quarterback, Steven Schreider, who's had himself a nice night? And Fondy throws their hands in the air. I don't know if Schreider knew what the play call was, and Fondy's going to have to use a timeout. We'll take it with them. Fondy leads by 10 back after this. What can I get for $5? You can become a member of Fond du Lac Credit Union and get some pretty amazing benefits. Really? Like what? As a member of Fond du Lac Credit Union, 
you can take advantage of all that they have to offer, including fewer fees, the best loan rates, in-house lending, and access to all the amazing programs and services. Wow. The cherry on top, when you become a member, you become part owner. That sounds like a great deal for only $5. Sure is. It's super simple to sign up. I'd like to order that. Oh, I'm sorry. We only sell coffee here. All that melty cheese you crave with double the steak is back at Taco Bell. The double steak grilled cheese burrito. Big third and eight for the Cardinals. They flip it once, flip it twice. Clear pass interference, and the Cards are going to get a first down out of it. They were looking for Max Mengel. They flipped it once to Mullins, flipped it again. And... On the non Steven Schreider pass, Fondi's going to get a first down on a pretty clear pass interference as Mengel was wide open at about the 50 yard line and found himself on a favorable matchup. One of the linebackers looked like that might have been 46, Sam Dudek, that made the play. Three minutes and 43 seconds left on the clock. There goes Dalski in motion. Instead, it's Eigenbrot up the middle, trying to follow his blockers. Great patience from Braden Eigenbrot. And he's going to keep the legs turning. I think he got a first down there. Out of just about nothing, they're going to move the chains. So a couple of big DPIs here in this second half. One of them coming on the earlier scoring drive. Where Fondi able to kick a field goal, 25-yard field goal earlier in this fourth quarter. That was early in the fourth. And now a DPI that keeps this drive alive. 10 on the carry from Eigenbrot. Ball is at the Kimberly 38, and it's going to be about three minutes on the clock when Fondi snaps this one. Schreider gets his men set. In the shotgun, this is actually uh, Dalski in the Wildcat. Pardon me. And Dalski just carries a couple of paper makers forward for five, maybe six. And it's going to be a timeout. They're pointing Fondy's way, but it's Kimberly that took the timeout. We're going to take the timeout with him. 2.50 left in this one. Can Fondy finish it out? Find out next. Music Industries and Fond du Lac would like to wish your local high school sports team best of luck this season. Muthig Industries is one of the area's top full-service manufacturers of precision metal stampings, laser cuttings, production machining and turning, tool and die manufacturing, and custom metal fabrication products. Muthig Industries is a third-generation family-owned company that started in 1965. To find out more, visit MuthigIndustries.com. Good luck to all area athletes from your team at Muthig Industries, 33 East Larson Drive, Fond du Lac. Back here at Fruth, 2 minutes and 50 seconds Left here on the Quest Interior scoreboard, that reads Cardinals 31, Papermakers 21. Ethan Wagner Lang is the receiver on the far side. Not sure he's going to get the football. Second and four. They got Dulski and Schreider and Eigenbrot in the backfield. Second and four. Now they're going to send Schreider to the near side, go back into this Wildcat formation. Dulski will probably take the snap. It is, does fly to Tanner Dalski, and Dalski puts his head down, barrels forward. Does he have enough for a first down? He sure does. Pickup of six for Tanner Dalski after six on the last play, and a first down for Fondy. Another first down means moving the chains. That's presented by Addison Jones Real Estate. Call them, then call the movers. Two minutes and 40 seconds. Kimberly used their first timeout on the last first down play. Not able to stop Dulski that time. And if Fondi can continue to churn out yards on the ground, they may not have to give the ball back to Kimberly. And even if they do, they currently have a two-possession lead. Two minutes and 15 seconds. And the play clock running short here on Schreider. Schreider going to come to the near side once again. This snap looks to be going to Eigenbrot. 
Eigenbrot takes it. Goes around the right side, makes a cut, breaks a tackle, trying to bulldoze his way forward, and he picks up eight. Second and two. If you are Coach Pluker, you got to be thrilled with the way his team has dealt with this fourth quarter. And is this the last throw of the dice here for Kimberly? They're going to take their second time out. We'll take a quick 30 with them and come back after this. 31-21, Fondy leads Kimberly. Back after this. Dr. Shane Bauer of Bauer Chiropractic for progressive and traditional chiropractic care. If you're in pain, Bauer Chiropractic offers unique ways to provide relief for many types of pain and conditions. New to this area is MLS Class 4 Cold Laser Therapy, which can be very effective with treating many nagging injuries such as plantar fasciitis, tennis elbow, shoulder pain, knee pain, and many others. Pain relief and prevention are two reasons to see Dr. Shane Bauer at 355 North Peters Avenue, Fond du Lac, or log on BauerChiroFDL.com. There is a clear shot of the scoreboard here at Frew. 31-21. Fondy looking to pull off a big upset. This was listed as one of the games of the week, no matter where you looked. This was one of the games of the week. And you look at that upcoming schedule for Kimberly. You had Nina on the schedule. Kakana upcoming. And Fond du Lac can't look past these Cardinals. They're showing you why. Minute 55 snap directly to Eigenbrot. Eigenbrot puts his hand on Dalski's back, drives forward, got the first down. Eigenbrot down to the 14, pickup of five yards on the play. And another first down means moving the chains, presented by Addison Jones Real Estate. Schreider, Dalski, a couple of the offensive Lineman trying to fire up this Fondy crowd as this is just about done for the Fondy Cardinals pulling off a big upset. I don't know if the math checks out to zeros currently, but it's, it's pretty close. High snap, and this is going to be blown dead. Iambrote fielded the high snap, and then a false start on Fondy. One minute and 15 seconds left. So it'll be first and 15 from the 19 yard line for the Cardinals. And Schreider picking up the flag for the official there, helping him out. First and 15. And the clock is going to wind here. So that ha probably helps Fondy. I think at this point, they're going to stop the clock. They're wondering, I think Kimberly's coach is wondering why the clock is running. I'm not sure that's the incorrect play, or should it start on, on the whistle? That's what they're discussing on the far side. They wound the clock. And they're going to. Try to re-add some time. 115. Not sure seven seconds came running off that clock, but there you go. So they'll start the play clock. Got it situated. I would have said, man, just take those, keep taking the false start penalties. You win the ball game. So Schreider comes to the near side. It'll be a direct snap to Dulski this time. Tanner Dulski takes it. Follows Eigenbrot. Dulski plowing forward, carries some Kimberly paper makers with him. And he's down inside the 10 to the six yard line pickup of 13. And it's gonna be a third and two final timeout for the paper makers. We're gonna take it with them and come back, finish this ball game out. Back after this on radioplusinfo.com. Winfield Homes is a locally owned custom home building company of over 25 years that prides itself on great service, high quality, and providing the best building experience possible. Owners Jim Boudry and Jason Zellner are there for you every step of the way to ensure that your new home is built just the way you've dreamed it to be. With the same passion that they have for their clients' homes, Jim and Jason are proud supporters of and are personally involved in youth sports programs and are truly committed to their success. 
Winfield Holmes wishes you all the best of luck this season. Back here at Fruit, they're, they're playing the tunes. Student section's going crazy. Fondy is a minute and six seconds away from pulling off a stunning upset over the Kimberly Papermakers, currently number one or number two in the state, depending which poll you look at. Here is Eigenbrook. Needs two yards to finish the ball game off. I think he's got him. He certainly looked like he had him. Is that enough for a first down and kneel down formation? I'm not sure. The official is looking at it, and they're going to say third down by about a foot or two. So Eigenbrot picked up. I guess we'll give him maybe a yard on that play. Schreider going to come to the near side once again. Eigenbrot on third and inches. Needs those inches to clinch the game. Eigenbrot up the middle. And for Fondy, if he's short of the touch of the end zone, that's the ball game. If he's in, you're not sure. I mean, obviously, Fondy's going to win it. But Fondy is short on the play, and Fondy is going to do it. They don't have to snap the ball again. Schreider points to the scoreboard, which reads Cardinals 31, Paper Makers 21. Schreider comes sprinting down to midfield. Fondy has done it. They are going to go through the handshake line. Fondy has done it. 31-21. Down goes the Kimberly Papermakers, number two in the state. And their first loss of the season comes here tonight at Fruth Field. My goodness, what a performance from these Fondy Cardinals. Coming up next, we got the Fox Valley Savings Bank postgame show. Hope you'll stick around with us for that. Take a timeout, and we'll continue with that. Coming up next, stay with us. People have a reluctance to go see the dentist. It's an easy thing to put off or avoid altogether. But one visit to the caring professionals at Fondy Family Dental will change the way you think about the dentist. They provide quality family dental services to all ages in a happy, honest, and efficient manner that teaches and involves you on your custom plan. If you don't have insurance, ask about their new membership plan that can save you money. Call or schedule online today at FondyFamilyDental.com. Com. Apply now to qualify for the Sabre Award, a $500 per year scholarship at Marion University. Be admitted by January 1st and receive a $2,000 scholarship towards your degree. The Sabre Award is granted in addition to other scholarships, awards, and discounts. 100% of Marion University students receive financial assistance. College is affordable. Apply now at marionuniversity.edu forward slash apply. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, come on, show me. Come on. Come on. Well, come on. Come on. Yeah. Good boy. Come here. Come on. Jackson, are you going to come over here? Hi, my name is Jim Dreyfrist. I am one of the owners of Dufresne Moving and Storage. My grandfather started the business in 1931 with horse and wagon. And now we're a fourth generation company and have everything from Sprinter vans to 53 foot semis. We service the local community for both residential and commercial products. Hi, my name is Craig. I do the estimating for Dufresne Moving and Storage. I will come into the home, uh, take a look at uh, what you want us to move. Uh, we do all uh, 48 states. We also do local. And I will give you the estimate before I leave. Whether it's commercial or residential, you'll have a ballpark idea of what the move will cost. We also offer short-term storage with our storage on truck option. We also have long-term storage with our climate control vault system. One of the unique characteristics of Dufresne we have a dedicated permanent staff that's willing to go that extra mile for you. 
called the office. The girls set me up with an estimate. I'll be knocking on your door. Now more than ever, hospitality, restaurant, and retail enterprises demand the quality and innovation LK Interior Systems delivers. EIS takes ever-changing design trends and transforms them into meaningful and memorable customer experiences. Take pride in your work and apply at LKInteriorSystems.com. Hi, I'm Shannon Schill from LK Interior Systems in Fond du Lac. We are thrilled to be adding to our family. Our shift times can be uniquely flexible because we understand that there's life outside of work. Go to LKInteriorSystems.com to learn more about our open positions. Baker Cheese, producing award-winning cheese since 1916. Not only can you find fresh Baker Cheese at your local grocer, make the short drive to their in-house country cheese store. Over 100 varieties of other cheeses from the best cheesemakers in Wisconsin. Take Highway 23, go south on G3 miles, and follow the freshness. Visit BakerCheese.com. Baker Cheese, a Wisconsin cheese heritage since 1916 mishaps like accidents, auto glass chips, and breakage happen. So it's good to know that the new state-of-the-art Holiday Collision and Glass Center is here for you. Count on Team Holiday for expert collision and paintwork, mobile auto glass fixes and replacement, paintless dent repair, and much more. This is 2022 Heisman candidate Braylon Allen. As a running back, I know how it feels to be in a collision. When your vehicle needs rehab, trust the Holiday Collision Center to get it done right. Drive Holiday and discover the difference. One of the things that Bristol Morgan is starting to do uh, increasingly more often is surround our customers with that team. So having somebody that's an expert on the loan side of life, having somebody that's expert on the deposit side of life or money movement, being able to talk to about all the various products and services that are out there as well as some of the things that are coming. And then getting, sitting down with the owners of the business, sitting down back as a team at the bank and collaborating on how can we help improve their lives financially and make things better day to day. Today's game is brought to you by Edward Jones and these area Edward Jones Financial Advisors. Robert Bruce, located at 976 East Johnson Street. Patrick Ellistad, located at 560 Fond du Lac Avenue. Matt Moses, located at 68 North Main Street. And Jeff Wills, located at 649 Fond du Lac Avenue. Good luck to all athletes in today's game. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Here at Pizza Ranch, we believe in happy accidents. Like in 1964, when a Buffalo, New York restaurant owner accidentally bought chicken wings instead of chicken necks. The 60s were a crazy time. Well, decades later, and the mistake turned masterpiece is now at Pizza Ranch. Introducing our new traditional and boneless chicken wings, tossed in our signature sauces. Two more ways to get the country's best chicken available for carryout and delivery. Maybe it wasn't an accident after all. Just delicious fate. Pizza Ranch. Mmm, mmm. Back here at Fruith Field, Jordan King with you here in the Fruith Press Box, the Fox Valley Savings Bank postgame show. Glad to have you along here tonight. Oh, what a performance from the Fondy Cardinals. Fox Valley Savings Bank looking for a loan with no hassle. We can help. Local bank, local leaders, your community, your local community bank, Fox Valley Savings Bank. And the Fondy Cardinals, you know, you can talk you can talk about games, but this is why you play the game, uh, the game here tonight. Uh, you know, you, you talk to some people, and they're like, well, I don't know. I mean, these Kimberly papermakers, they're averaging 40 points a game. Could this be, you know, if Fondy doesn't bring it, could this be a, a, a running clock sitch? Well, no, not tonight. Not with the way the Cardinals played here uh, at Fruith here tonight. They stunned the papermakers. Uh, in pretty much all three phases, the fir defense in the first half to hold the uh, to hold Kimberly to f seven points was incredible. Turned over the papermakers two times tonight. Also had a couple of turnovers on downs as well uh, to help them hold Kimberly to about half of what their season average is points wise. So a nice job from the Fondy defense. How about the BCI Burke? play of the game 
Now hiring in different departments and shifts, log on BurkeCareers.com. For me, it comes in the second half, and it's almost a whole possession, but it's capped off by a 56-yard touchdown scamper now on the near side. Tough running all night for Tanner Dalski, and uh, he'll be our player of the game tonight. We'll get to that in just a second and get you some final numbers for him. But in four plays, he uh, toted, the, toted the mail four times, runs of two, seven, five, and then a 56-yard touchdown run for Tanner Dalski. Uh, who had just a tremendous night, but that's our play of the game. And Marion U University player of the game at halftime, you'd have said Steven Schreiter for sure. Marion University has many different programs to choose from. Log on marionuniversity.edu to get started today. I'm going to go with Tanner Dalski here tonight, though. Schreider uh, had 213 yards. He had 204 of those in the first half, so just eight in the, in the second half, mostly because of uh, the aforementioned Tanner Dalski. Um, Dulski had 136 yards on the ground, 25 yards receiving, two touchdowns, one of each, one rushing touchdown, that 56-yarder we just told you about, and then the 15-yard uh, the uh, receiving touchdown in the first half. All told, 161 yards tonight and two touchdowns for Tanner Dulski. Eigenbrot had 87 yards and a touchdown on the ground. And then final numbers for Strider, as I mentioned, 213 yards. He had a touchdown rushing and then a touchdown throw that uh, went to Dalski. So Dalski, the player of the game tonight. And then finally, our Air Tech presents our next game broadcast. And coming up next weekend, Fond du Lac at Appleton North. And then St. Mary's Springs at Lemire. So a couple of opportunities uh, to catch out, catch some uh, local high school football here on Radio Plus Info. So uh, that's our next game broadcast brought to you by AirTech. No matter which type of heating system you have in your home, the knowledgeable technicians at AirTech Heating can perform a timely repair if things go wrong. Well, it was a three-headed monster. Eigenbrot, Schreider, and Tanner Dulski. Behind those three, the Fondy Cardinals able to take down the number two team in the state. That moves Fondy four and three on the season and drops the papermakers to six and one. Hands them their first loss of the season and their first loss in the FVA as well. So uh, coming up next uh, for Fondy, we mentioned they're up at Appleton North. So 31-21, the final score on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Jordan King saying thanks to the uh, crew here. Uh, on uh, the the crew uh, the the video crew here with me and Jordan King saying thanks for joining us so long from Fruith Field. Fondy wins it 31-21 and you've been watching Fondy football on radioplusinfo.com. Broadcast is sponsored by the following local partners. Capelli Brothers and Dietrich, Edward Jones, Integrity Saw and Tool, Bauer Chiropractic, Bondi Family Dental, Baker Cheese, Right Way Home Improvement, Quest Interiors, Addish and Jones Real Estate, Holiday Automotive, Taco Bell, Bristol Morgan Bank, Coal Oil and Propane, Pioneer Pit Stop, The Spectrum Call Center, Pizza Ranch, Everson and Gibbs, Attorneys at Law, National Exchange Bank and Trust, LK Interior Systems, Silica for Your Home, Radom and Stone Landscape, Bob's Pizza, AirTech, Winnebago Lutheran Academy, Musa Sheet Metal, Scotty's Auto Works, St. Mary Springs Academy, Canberra Casino, Fond du Lac Credit Union, Marchant Schmidt, New Medical Center, Condex Corporation, Fox Valley Savings Bank, BCI Burke. Marion University, Muthig Industries, Dufresne Moving and Storage, Winfield Custom Homes. The complete broadcast schedule can be found at radioplusinfo.com. <laughs>